Hello, welcome to Direct Mail Monday, March 6th, 2018. Steve Cypress here, and as you can see, my premature pronunciation yesterday that the winter was over and we were back to ugly red Hawaiian shirt wearing weather was short lived. That was for only a day or two, and now uh, a little chilly today, a little windy uh, more than anything, and uh, we're back to uh, sweatshirts temporarily, of course. It is already March, and down here in sunny Arizona, uh, winter is all pretty much over. Anyway, we start out today, as always, with the rhino of the day, and here is today's rhino. Is another one of my larger rhinos, not as large as the ones from the past couple of days, but it's very cool. Leather rhino, highly detailed and made of leather, the ears of soft leather, and the rest a harder shell leather, maybe some paper mache, who knows what's under it, but uh, you see these, or I see these around all the time. I have a few of them, and people get me them as gifts. Uh, they're fairly common, so they must be based on some kind of a, a some kind of common frame underneath. But they're still very cool, and we like our rhino of the day. Let's get right to it. Now, last Monday, uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, it's still available on YouTube and Facebook and all over the place on my blog, RhinoDaily.com. My direct mail Monday video, I opened up live on the spot a Valpac mailer, went through it, and did a critique of every single piece in there, including the overall mailing itself. If you haven't seen that, you ought to go check that out last Monday, but not until you watch this one. I'm going to do it again, this time with an RSVP mailing. Check it out. This landed in my mailbox a few days ago, and I was like, why not? Let's do one with the RSVP. Now, first of all, Donna's here. Good seeing you, Donna. So now... First of all, RSVP, what's the difference? Well, difference, uh, many differences, but as you can see, cosmetic difference too. But the Valpac, for the most part, goes anyone. Their target, market, their who is anybody, uh, and a lower, therefore, a, 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 a lower uh, income level, uh, lower you know, quality of a lead. So they're selling things like, you know, here's $2 off a Big Mac, and here's a, a bucket of chicken for a dollar off, and things like that. Not likely to find that kind of stuff in the RSVP mailer because I had a client that owned an RSVP franchise, and years ago, about 10 years ago, he told me the qualifications were the, uh, a certain level of income and a certain value of the home that they go to, and so and both in the hundreds of thousands, of course, uh, like a six-figure income and a $500,000, or it depends on the area in the country. But here in Scottsdale, one of the most affluent areas in the country, uh, these are going to the affluent homes in this area. Uh, and it's addressed to the homeowner. So for some reason, it has the first name of the homeowner. We are renting here. We're new to the area, a couple of years. I said we're not buying until we get the lay of the land. So that's the first name of the owner of the home. And then it says, or current homeowner. So mistake number one, I shouldn't open this because it's addressed not to me. It's addressed to the homeowner. Like, I should put this in an envelope and mail it off to Colorado where the homeowner happens to be with their plans to move down here when the kids finish school or something. But for now, they're up there in Colorado, and we're down here in sunny Arizona. So interesting that they're going only to homeowners. Now, it's likely that a third, maybe, of the offers in here are specifically to homeowners, things that I could never – or couldn't now take advantage of, not being the owner of the home, like remodeling and home improvements and things like that. But uh, there are other things, like I see right there on the cover, that I might be interested in, whether I'm a homeowner or not, I might want to go out to a nice restaurant. And on the back, you see something for the Scottsdale Arts Festival coming up March 9th to 11th, coming up this weekend, I guess. So save $3 off admission. Ooh, that really uh, appeals to luxury homeowners. Give me a break. Uh, but anyway, uh, so first thing you can see cosmetically that the Valpac was in a, a, a opaque envelope. You couldn't see into it. Uh, but the RSVP, smartly, they have, I can see two of the offers that I'm going to get, and I can see about how many there are, about 40 of these in here, what's about. And so... Um, I, I don't know if they, per well, i guess in this one they purposely sell as the cover piece because it's got the address printed on it as well and the postage mark up in the corner. So this, uh, I would un almost undoubtedly, I would have to say this is a premium buy, that if you want to absolutely be seen by everybody, including 
people that don't open it up, which are a lot of people and other people in the home. Like if this is my beautiful wife would put this out and say, oh, that's for you. She wouldn't it open it up, but she would still see this. So that's got a premium placement. And then there's premium placement, the one that's on the back. So hopefully they're purposeful about that too, and they're charging extra money for it. And if you're going to be in an RSVP, you would like to get one of these two positions. Anywhere you advertise, by the way, you want to get the most premium position you can. Okay, so if it's on Google, you want to be on the first position on page one of Google. If you're advertising on TV, you want to be on the Super Bowl. If you want to be in the yellow pages, you want to be on the back cover. Okay, so you, you want the premium placement in whatever it is you're doing to get the best results. You'll, you'll often get much more bang for the buck than the slightly more charge that it is, even if the Super Bowl commercial is triple what it normally is to be in prime time, you get many, many, many more people uh, attention from the Super Bowl commercial, not to mention that it plays before and after in all the, here are all the Super Bowl commercial things. But I digress, back to the RSVP. So let's open it up and let's see what's going on. Should be, maybe it's not, in an easy to open plastic thing I'm going to give up already. And just cut it open with a scissor. <laughs> oh, there we go. And boom, we have the deck. Your dog is here. Direct Mail Monday. Here we go. The RSVP mailer to affluent homes with affluent residents, right? They have qualifications, both income and value of the home. So here we go. The cover is for a free bottomless bowl. So right away, they hit you with the most powerful word, word in all of advertising and marketing, free. So the WOW strategy, the middle O, stands for the irresistible offer, and it's tough to get more irresistible than giving them something for free. It has to be something that your who, your target, uh, the person you want to do business with you, is interested in, and then pretty much no-brainer. If there's something I'm interested in, they give it to me free, that works for me. Then it's the only issue of the time and the trouble it takes to get it. So if it said free you know, bowl of popcorn, but you got to drive 50 miles or it's only available on Tuesday at 10 a.m. at where, you know, or you have to, you know, uh, do an hour survey before you can get it. A, that would all be weasel clauses that would stop it. But if it's just simply you come in and see back for details. So let's see the back for details because it's a free bottomless bowl of the tastiest and best popcorn you'll ever eat at the Roadhouse Cinemas. I like this already. So... Roadhouse Cinemas, first of all, they are appealing to, as it says right on there, the tagline, the upscale offers. They're appealing to the upscale customer by saying already it's the tastiest and best popcorn. My mouth is watering already, and I don't eat a lot of uh, jump fruit popcorn, but look at that. Then they've got some other things that will appeal to a higher uh, class, a higher uh, value client is non-GMO gourmet white popcorn. So it's a, it doesn't have the chemicals. It's gourmet. Uh, because people with a higher income are often uh, interested and will pay money for health. So the people in low income, the KFC, the McDonald's, the Burger King, whatever, the fast food, yeah, great. They're not that concerned about the health. They're much more concerned about pinching a few pennies. But people that have lots and lots and lots and lots of pennies and dollars don't not only don't want to pinch them, but once you've got having a fantastic lifestyle, you want that to last as long as possible. So you invest in health. So if you're selling health, you want to sell it to the the higher echelon of income, a net worth type of people, and then you want to pepper in, see what I did there, these kind of phrases where it's gourmet, and it's the tastiest, and it's the best. And for flavors to choose is important to an affluent client. So this is another way, by the way, this is going to differ if they're doing it right. For, even if the same company has something in the RSVP as they had in the Valpec, if they're doing it right, they're going to have different words and phrases on the stuff they're sending to the affluent homeowner as opposed to the Valpec, which just goes to anybody. There are certain words and phrases that will actually depress sales to affluent prospects if you say them. Uh, but there are things that if that if you and and vice versa, certain things that you say to affluent prospects, meaningless or even hurt the sales to low income people. So this is one of them. Choice, convenience, choice is huge for people with plenty of money. We often pay money for choice. We'll pay a premium 
charged to have choice, whereas the low-end shopper is very happy to go into Walmart and there's, you know, or, or the bin in the back of the discount store, and that's the only few shirts they have in two different colors in there. But, you know, they got it for three bucks. They're very happy. The affluent buyer is not happy with that and does not care whether that shirt was $3 or $30. They want the color they want. So they'll go to needless markup and all those kind of stores because they know they have plenty of all the different shapes and colors and sizes. And I know I've been there. I've been broke. I've been homeless. So I would go to the bin in the store, and even if the thing didn't even fit properly, so it's not even the color, it wasn't even the right size, but it was three bucks. I got to buy it. You're not going to find that kind of stuff if they're doing it right in the RSVP. So $3 off. Now $3 off. No, wait. This is free. So where did I see the three? Oh, that was on the one on the back. Right, that was three dollars off. This one is free. So if you just get into this, I, I, I got to read the details because if you just get into this movie theater, and it's all the popcorn you can eat. Now, he, uh, I will share with you one of the definitions that I teach uh, to all my clients and in my seminars and courses and whenever I speak. One of the definitions, one of the way to define an irresistible offer, the O in the Wow strategy. If your offer is in fact, irresistible, a response you're likely to get is, I don't believe it, or what's the catch, or that just sounds too good to be true. If you're not getting those kind of responses, your offer is not irresistible. It's extremely resistible, which I don't know why you're doing that. It makes it very difficult to do business if you're making it so difficult on yourself to gain customers by sending them very resistible offers. Why don't you send them something irresistible, make it easy to gain a customer. It's free. So I'm thinking, what's the catch? It's got to be a catch. I just show up. We pay for the movie like we would anywhere else, 10 bucks, 12 bucks for the ticket. And then we eat all the popcorn we want. That would almost get me to go to the movie theater and actually pay for a ticket to support the ridiculous losers in Hollywood. Uh, uh, I won't go to any NFL games. I didn't watch a second of the Olympics. I wouldn't, I, I'm in no mood to be paying any money to any of these Hollywood folks that think I give a crap about their ridiculously wrong political opinions. And spouting off to me when I just want to be entertained, so I wait till it comes on TV or whatever. Uh, but if you're going to give me a free bottomless bowl of popcorn, let's see what's the catch. Uh, here's another great phrase, marking to the fluent. First class. First class movie theater. Now, the people that get these, the fluent homeowners, the high income people, we fly first class. We stay in a first class hotel. We want first class accommodation. So is there such a thing as a first class movie theater? There is now. Very smart marketing. They might be the only first-class movie theater. I've never heard of one. That's very smart. And it's with ticket purchase. That's the catch. Not really a catch, is it? Like, I didn't really think I could just walk over there on my way to somewhere else and just go, hi, I'd like to have all the popcorn I can eat, sit here and read a book, and then I'll be on my way. <laughs> like, it is <clears throat> with a ticket purchase. That's it? All right. In other words, we got to go. So it's first-run films, all luxury recliners. Are you kidding me? There's another great word, luxury. And in a movie theater, saying recliner instead of seats. They could have said luxury seats. They're saying recliners. They're showing they're doing a real good job of, uh, of uh, appealing to luxury homeowners. Full bar, scratch kitchen. I'm not sure what it means, scratch kitchen. Somebody in the restaurant industry, which I've helped so many restaurants, I'm surprised I don't know what scratch kitchen is. Oh, and there's a word of caution. If you're using this insider jargon like this, and I've been to a lot of luxury restaurants, and I have clients who own restaurants and chains of restaurants have helped make a ton of money, and I'm not even sure what a scratch kitchen is. So that I'm thinking it's probably a limited menu, like they make sandwiches and stuff, but why would you say that? Why don't you just say casual, fair kitchen, something like that? Happy hour, lunch specials. Authentic Italian gelato coffee roasted in-house. These are things that luxury buyers like, something authentic, something in-house, right? It's close as, as it can come to homemade. It's made right there. And then they even have these discounts, $6 on, $6 on Tuesday, $4 for seniors, which I think is even me at this point, uh, before 4 p.m. I want to just go over during the day and catch a movie for 4 bucks and eat all the popcorn I can eat. I still don't get where's the catch. I thought they were going to say you have to buy a, you know, a, a book of 10 movie tickets at full price for the future or something. But, like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm still thinking there's got to be more of a catch. So that's a winner right there. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Now, you see, I, I don't know if they're all like this, but they got 
full color on one side, black and white on the other. And you see if you have a choice when you're advertising. When I was a consultant with the Yellow Page Company for three and a half years, they charged more for color in the ads. Um, I, I uh, recommended almost all my clients uh, don't pay it. Nobody cares. Uh, not nobody, but it doesn't matter if you do it right. So you see all this? It doesn't matter. Did, did anyone say or do you think I said, like, but wait a minute, the logo isn't in color? I, I'm not interested anymore in luxury this and first class that and free this and full bar and first run films and luxury. Cl oh, since this isn't in color, gee, I'm not going to respond. Don't pay more for color. But if it already comes with color, and, and this is when you do use color, when it's image oriented. So they want to show that delicious yellow and white popcorn. That's where color could help. Okay. That's the first one. Let's try and go a little quicker through these. Oh, I know we've seen these in the Valpac. And now I should have kept all those Valpacs to compare because this company had a Valpac mailer. And by the way, these are now card stock. These are like, uh, you know, postcard card stock where the Valpac was very thin, glossy, cheapest paper you could get pretty much. And this is a heavy card stock, which also denotes more luxurious uh, offers, more luxurious mailing than uh, something on cheap paper. So this is a first impression Ironworks, Ironworks, and they're doing it right with their website with the first letter. I'll put the color up there. First letter of each word is capitalized, easier to read, easier to remember. It's clearly first impression Ironworks.com, and call today for your complimentary design session. Now, to me, not a strong, irresistible offer. Very resistible. Oh, was I? Did I wake up in the middle of last night in a cold pool of sweat, going, "Man, I just wish I could have a complimentary design session with an ironworks company"? No. Maybe though, I was watching the Oscars last night, and and I would have said, "Man, I want to go see some of those movies." And wouldn't it be cool if I got free popcorn? And then, boom, this hits. Now it hit a few days before, which is my why actually this movie company. Now that I think of it, might have paid for the premium front positioning. I'll pay a little more attention to future RSVPs that are coming. And if I paid attention to the past, they might never done this before. But they might be capitalizing on the Oscars being on, and people got movies on their mind, and we just see a bunch and go, what. You know, who won for best cinematography in a foreign film short, you know, whatever crazy categories they have, but maybe it was something I want to see. And, oh, yeah, we got that thing for the free popcorn. Let's go to the movies and do it. But uh, this one, I don't know many people that, like, complimentary design says not intriguing to me. I know that's a sales call. So it's not, of course, it's free because it's a sales call. But I'm going to save up to $300 on select security door designs Limited time offer. We talked about that last time. Anything we talked about last time, I'm just going to tell you to go watch last week's video. We talked about the mistake of saying limited time offer and what you can do to be more powerful and then not to be combined with other offers or discounts. No reason to put in that negative weasel clause there, but I guess you can if you want. And then they have uh, showrooms, which clearly now if you're listing, if they have these five showrooms and they're doing this RSVP mail or two somewhere in the Tucson area, it would make sense to move the Tucson address up to the top. Since we're in the Scottsdale area, we put the Scottsdale at the top. So I don't know if they do that purposely. I, it looks like they, I mean, it's not alphabetical or anything. That'd be smart. Put the closest location at the top, and the other ones underneath just shows, wow, this is a real company. Like, uh, that it's a real deal. They're, they're established, and, you know, I can feel secure going there that they're not a fly-by-night something. they got multiple locations there for real. Okay, $300 savings. Next, some kind of water service, Kinet Kinetico Home Water Systems since 1970, so they've been around 50 years, and I'm getting $200 to $600 off a whole house solution, and since it's March, we got a March theme, so maybe they do this every month, again, I'll pay a little more attention, I guess, and uh, we see they have a March theme with the shamrocks and the green and the luck of the Irish, and then whole host solution. Now, that is something that is popular in luxury homes. I would expect if I'm buying a home around here, it's already got the whole house water treatment because down here we have the hard water with the, uh, uh, and, it, and you've got to get a water softener. Uh, you can get the, uh, we have the reverse osmosis thing in the kitchen, but the, we don't have this, we're renting. We don't have the whole house system here. So when we take a shower, the shower door, uh, gets a film on it, no matter what you do, because of all the chemicals in there. So, but when you have a home whole water solution here, you're getting healthy water, even showering, bath, cooking, you know, drinking, 
your toilet, I guess. Everything is healthy water, so that's fluent people like that. And on the back, good selling point that also appeals to a luxury homeowner, protect, protect. That's important. If I have taken my millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars and bought a large asset, then I'm in the frame of mind to protect it. If I'm renting, which Valpac goes to everybody, goes to a lot of renters, renters, I don't, I'm not interested in protect. Now I am. We're really good tenants here, and we have improved the place since we've been here. We we're just talking about it yesterday. Um, I'm not that interested in protecting the pipes, appliances, faucets, shower doors, etc., from the damaging hard water when I'm a renter. But a luxury homeowner, these are important things to the luxury homeowner. That's the first W in the WOW strategy. You want to know your who. Know what they like, what they don't like, what they care about, what they don't care about. Luxury homeowners care about protecting their investment. It's an important word. They're protecting the investment. And so with our patented water-powered system, we like patented because anything exclusive, patented, one of a kind, something you can't get somewhere else, and, and by definition, a patent is exclusive. They have their way of doing it. That also appeals to the luxury buyer. Here's all the things, all the bullet points of all benefits. You see, they're not telling you features here. They're talking you benefits. Softer skin and hair. Oh, there's another health issue, very important to the affluent. Uh, clean, healthy water. Health again. Minimum maintenance, there's the convenience we talked about. So on and on, they're doing all the right things. They're not telling you it's, you know, holds 40 gallons, it's blue, it's six feet tall. It's, uh, they're not telling you, they're telling you not, those are features. They're telling you the benefits, why you should have this, why your life would be better if you had this. It even saves money on your hot water heating bill. Who knew that it saves money on a hot water heating bill to have water treated? Very cool. Quick quote available online by phone. So it's quick. There's the convenience we talked about. Doing another great job marketing to the affluent. Put that quick quote in there. Don't just say free quote like the Ironworks. So the Ironworks would be improved. I'll bet they don't. Whoever did this one to open up the RSVP mailer once in a while, or watch this video, but you know, absent that, to read through the other promotions and see who's doing it right. Now in this case, without someone like me to help them, they likely don't even know all the things I'm pointing out that are smart to do. So even if they saw them, they don't do them. But be very smart instead of just saying, call for your complimentary design session. It would say, call for your con quick complimentary design session in your home. We come to your home. There's the convenience luxury homeowners want. We'll come to your home and do a quick custom, is another word they didn't use, design session. But here they'd be very smart saying it's a quick quote. Give us a quick call. And then they have a free trial of this, very smart. Two free Renaissance Festival tickets. Very smart. This is I'm, I'm impressed with this here. So this is very smart. They're throwing in something that's not even related to anything they do. But who or what do you think it's related to? I just gave it away. It's related to the who, the most important thing in a, in, a mar in, in marketing or advertising. So I, if I am the luxury homeowner here, I might be interested in going to the Renaissance Festival. Hey, we were thinking about, hey, it's coming up. Here's free tickets. What the heck? Now, it's likely, first of all, I don't really care if we have to pay 20 bucks for the tickets. It's likely I know people that own businesses and have free tickets and give them away. Whatever. But it's just nice to throw that in there and recognize that you are a luxury homeowner. You must like going to really nice, cool, fun events, too. So... All you have to do is get an in-home consultation water analysis, and you get these two free tickets and a free trial list and hundreds of dollars off. Well done. Next, Closet Masters. So they're using the color to show the, um, the, uh, the desired result of calling them, which is to have these high-quality oak, and I think it's oak, uh, you know, and all the compartments and how custom and personalized hopefully they're using that word custom in here but they say our family values give you the value you deserve so i'm not in favor of that nonsense first of all I can hardly understand what it says but second of all why do i care about your why is the first word r it's a big mistake so they're smart using the word here you twice but they started by using the word r and i don't care about them i don't care what their values are i don't care if they have values all i care is my values i also don't care about meaningless slogans this is a waste of space here. They could have used this to say, it to give me a big irresistible offer, to give me a reason to call them. A reason to call them is not because their family values. I don't care their family values. I want to get what I want. I want my closet clutter to disappear tomorrow for 
very easily for no time or effort on my part. That's what I want. And I want it to stay that way and look beautiful. And, and I think the oak is better for my clothes and better for the shoes and lasts longer. And it, uh, you know, it's healthier to breathe the air when there's oak in it as opposed to other woods. So that's all the kind of stuff I would want to know. But do they do that? No. And on the back, all they're going to tell you is we again. First word, they care about themselves, someone that I don't give a crap about. I don't even know who they are. Oh, they're closet masters. I don't care. And uh, so I don't care that they have been since they've been around since 1984. Okay, so that's a good, that's by the way, positive and negative. Okay, so they're established. They've been around for 30 years or whatever. Uh, but also, they could therefore be into the second generation, and therefore they could be too big to pay personal care and attention to me. They could be in a second generation where the people that, or person that built the company and the business and went out of the way and served the customers and gave 110% and did all that, and now it's handed down to the kids who don't understand any of that. They were handed everything in life because they're father was a successful business owner and made lots of money and they don't work as hard. They don't care as much about the customer. They kind of taken over the business and they expect it to just be a cash cow for them. And so, you know, be careful when you put these dates on there. Sometimes they've been around so long that they no longer really even care about me as a customer as opposed to if they're brand new, there's a negative there. Ooh, they're brand new. They might not last. But on the other hand, they're probably going to give me a lot of personal care and attention. So free in-home estimates. Well, of course. That, again, that's dumb. Of course you give, well, in-home, so I'll, I'll give them that. In-home is good. They come, to, but where else are they going to give an estimate, actually? It's for a closet. So, of course, they're going to come to my home and give me a sales call. It's free sales call. They might as well just yell free sales calls. There anyone who doesn't understand what an in-home estimate is a free sales call. Or you can visit their Scottsdale showroom. So I like that. So they have put the convenience on there, which is very smart, mark, marketing to the affluent. They got the in-home. And then... They also do garage cabinets, pantries, kitchen cabinets, home offices. Okay, home offices, I might uh, emphasize a little more. Fluent people very often, at least if they don't own their own business, they have a home office. They work from home. Uh, an attorney, a doctor, can do some work on the weekend from a nice home office. And if they can make that, my, well, my bookshelves custom. They didn't use the word custom. Very strange to me. Didn't use that on the whole thing. Okay, next. Renewal by Anderson, heavy TV advertiser, backing it up with direct mail. We saw the Val Pack last week, and now we see the RSVP postcard. And this is a 31-day sale. And so you must book yours by March 31st. Limited appointments, so they have limited time and limited quantity. Two ways of showing scarcity. I have to act quickly because they got a date deadline, but they also have a number deadline before it's gone. And... I'm going to save 825 on this. Extra 3% discount when you pay for your whole project with cash or check. Smart thing to offer to the affluent homeowner because if it's, you know, 5 or 10 grand, we can write a check. And, and if we save 3%, what the heck? <clears throat> they might want to make a little bit more because here they kind of neuter their own offer here. Why do I need a 3% discount if I got no money down, no payments, and no interest for a year? I can get a lot more than 3% return on my money because I'm a business owner. So I like to keep my cash, thank you very much. So I'd rather have no interest maybe for one year. No payments, no interest, no money down. So for one year, nothing. Then I'll write you a check. And then, by the way, you'll still give me a discount. Otherwise, I won't write you the full check. So that's a little strange right there. But anyway, and on the back, what do they got? Hurry. Again, they're, they're going for the scarcity. You only got 31 days and a limited number. And so they got certified master installers. That's important to a luxury homeowner. They want someone certified master installer, even if there isn't such a thing. I mean, if there isn't, it costs you a few hundred bucks to join that organization and get that seal of approval, and you have to go to a class every year or two or whatever to maintain your certification. That's important to, again, a, a luxury homeowner means they've invested hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in a home and certified master installer. You good... Uh, Good competitive point to make that other people don't have. Get a free window and patio door diagnosis. You're not fooling anybody. That's a free sales call. Big deal. Toll-free number. Big mistake in local advertising. And then all this gobbledygook is likely also a big mistake because I'm sure that's not good stuff or they wouldn't put it in small print. Uh, next, we have Arizona's most trusted painting company. Trust is an important word to the affluent. 
you know, people want something they can trust. That's why fast food or, or you know, somebody new or somebody that didn't come with a recommendation or a referral, like, ooh, I wonder, but I want somebody trusted because they're entering my asset worth hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. i got to be able to trust the painting company. 10% off your residential painting project. Not irresistible, 10% off, but okay. Uh, better than nothing. And Arizona Painting Company, Arizona's number one rated painting company. Interested? I'd like to know by who, but that's a smart thing to say. Number one rated and trusted. Sounds good. And local number to call is smart. They've got the Arizona State outline shape and the flag, so that's smart. Goes along with their name. Free estimates. Okay, I guess they felt like they had to put that. Uh, be even smarter to say, you know, we'll pay you for an estimate, like the other one did. The other one gives you two free Renaissance Fair tickets if you just have the in-home demonstration. So that they're paying me for the sales call. Here, they're just giving it free. Like, you're not thrilling me here. I can get paid for it by another company. And if you had more respect for me and my time and who I am and what I could mean to you if I become a client, you would pay me to come do an estimate, would you not? I mean, think about it. This is where math comes in, folks. If your average customer, in this case, painting to a $800,000 home, so it's a $10,000 painting job. What if it cost, and, and, the, and the cost of you to acquire that customer, what if it cost you 500 bucks to get that customer, but then you made 10 grand? Is it worth it? What if it cost you $520 because you threw in two Renaissance Fair tickets? Okay, so think about the math, folks, for your chintz out and only say free estimate without paying people for it when they are your ideal target who? These luxury homeowners. Who else is more of an ideal target customer for a painting company than a luxury homeowner? Who has a lot of painting they want to get done, and we do it often. We don't wait till the paint's chipping and peeling and rusting. I don't know here, but luxury homeowners don't wait until things are bad to replace them. We want to keep them up, so we're good clients to have. And on the back, they're going to tell us why we are the best. The problem is they made it so small, I can barely see it, which reminds me maybe I'll put on glasses for this. There is a lot of reading involved. Oh, my goodness, and even with the glasses on, I certainly can't read this weasel clause under the 10% off thing. Is 10% such a great thing that you got to weasel out of it? By telling me right there that something... I don't know, can anyone else read this? Because I can. Offer cannot be combined with any other offer promotion. Offer valid on residential estimates over $1,000 expires May 18th. What offer? What do you, you really have to say all that? Why can't you say, and be smart to say, call for details? You know, 10% off, call for details. Like, then you get the call. Uh, okay, so we offer interior, exterior, and popcorn ceiling removal. Free estimates, again, with the only free estimates instead of paying me for it. And here's some good things about why they're the best. Okay, and I'm guessing now that these are all the same. They're going to be color one side, black and white on the other. All right, next is USA Cabinets and Granite. Free in-home estimates. Again, not understanding the luxury market. You should be paying me to come in and give me an estimate. Bring me a pie, free pizza, uh, a, 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 I don't know, a book, uh, an iPad, you know, iP iPod. Oh, it was like 20, 30 bucks. I mean, bring me something if you're going to come into my home. I mean, when I come into somebody's home, I bring a bottle of wine. I bring flowers. I bring something. If you're coming into my home, bring me something. It's what everybody else does. You want to be the only person that shows up in a luxury home empty-handed? Oh, I, with a clipboard? I came to take something? I came to give you an estimate so I can get money out of you? How about I? Here's flowers. Now, hopefully they do, even if they don't announce it. Hopefully they bring candy, chocolate, uh, you know, two tickets to something, you know, bring me something. When you come to my home, everybody else does, and I do it for everyone else. Luxury homeowners, again, average apartment dwellers, not so much, unless it's a first date or, a, you know, an important dinner date or something like that. So, but you got to know your target who, and you got to treat them the way they're accustomed to being treated. So here we got granite starting at $39 a square foot installed, quartz 44 I think it's a mistake to compete on price and, and be starburst and so upfront about that you've got a discounted price when you're marketing to the affluent. Like, we're not as concerned with saving a couple of bucks or pennies or whatever on the square footage or something as we are of having the finest work done. So have your dream kitchen in 30 days or less. I don't even think it takes 30 days. It seems like a long time to me. Um, $200 off a purchase of $3,000 or greater. 
that's not even 10%. Like the last one was 10% paint. I didn't think that was a big deal. And this is like, what is that, 8% or something. $400 off a purchase of 6000 or greater, same thing. And $700 off a purchase of $10,000 or greater. So that's 7%. I'm getting a 7% discount. I'm not that thrilled. Um, 25 years experience and blah, blah, blah. Start, stop dreaming and start remodeling. That's crazy. You're telling me to stop dreaming? I mean, I understand what you're trying to say, but words matter, and you've just told me to stop dreaming, especially affluent homeowners. We never stop dreaming. Our whole life is a dream, or their life is a dream, who you're trying to market to. They live in a dream house. They drive their dream car. They go on vacation to dream places. They have their dream job or business. I mean, stop dreaming. What? You are not connecting at all with that marketplace. Big mistake. You ought to watch my videos. Okay, next, uh, pizza place that I can't even understand who they are. S and W maybe? Does that look like S and S and W, I guess? Urban Italian? I don't know. I don't understand who they are, but uh, pizza looks pretty good. And it's $30 off in gift certificates. The only thing I like better than talking about food is eating. Okay. Again, I don't know why I use the word I. I don't really care what you it's not even a quote. I mean, the only thing I like better than talking about, I don't care what you like. I don't care what you like better. I don't care what, I don't like, I don't care about anything you like or think. I care what I like or think. They, you just turn that into a question and change it to the word you, right? Is, is this you? The only thing you like better than talking about food is eating? Then you'll love our pizza. I'm like, I don't care what, you know, when you say I, I don't care what you, the restaurant owner, likes. Uh, map, very smart for a local business. Show me the map right there on Shea Boulevard in Scottsdale. That's the main cross street to the main highway the 101 so it's convenient which is smart open for lunch and dinner three ten dollar gift certificates one for march one for april one for may ten dollars off purchase of 30 or more good food is all the sweeter when share with good friends pasta pizza wine and more okay visit our new website by the way do you know what that website is sand Send V, see if you don't capitalize the words. I don't know what the heck you're talking about here. Sand V Scottsdale. Sand V. Oh, so maybe this is a V. So maybe this is not S and V. Maybe it's Sand V. Oh, S and V. I'm an idiot. It's S and V. Okay, but if, you, if it's so difficult. I mean, I consider my, I said I'm an idiot, but I'm a somewhat intelligent person that I don't even understand your website. I, I don't understand your logo, and I don't even understand it when you put it on the website and spell it out, S and V, Scottsdale. Now I know your place is called S and V. Why did you make it so difficult? Why didn't you put capital S and capital V? And then instantly I would have gone S and V. Oh, S and V. Got it, S and V. That is just awfully done. However, you know. It's convenient, good pizza, might stop in anyway. Next. Also, not this 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 logo, by the way, I didn't mention it with the other one, but this logo just seems cheap looking to me. Doesn't seem like it's marketing to affluent people with this cheap USA granite cabinets and granite, and this is another one that looks cheap. And Arizona. Now the red, white, and blue, of course, in a, in, in this area, in a in a almost anywhere in America, an affluent suburban area is more likely to be conservative and, and patriotic and love America than people in lower income and cities and, and things like that. So the red, white, and blue is great, but it also looks a little bit cheap. Uh, my hand's on the wrong side of this thing. Wrong one. Ah. So it looks a little bit cheap as if, you know, a kid did that on Microsoft Word, and, and that's my first thought with this thing too. Second of all, the color, I know you're happy about your logo, but it's out of place. It doesn't go with the color of the rest of the thing, which is a blue color, which is a color of trust, so that's smart to the affluent. Multiple phone numbers, very cool. Again, it looks very similar to one we showed last week. Hunter Douglas is a company with, of high quality. It's smart to put it on there. Also, you're likely getting co-op dollars from them, so you might as well put it on. Beat the heat and lower utility bills. Yeah, this is – you're making a mistake, whoever this is, marketing to affluent homeowners because – our first concern is not lowering our utility bills. By the way, some utility bills and, and friends I have and clients around here and these $2 million home that's you know 6,000 square feet and tall ceilings and gets to be the desert, their bills are like 1500 a month for air conditioning in the summer. Like, what are you gonna lower it to 
thirteen hundred twelve we obviously we don't care that much about it we're we're paying absorbent utility bills uh, uh, lower utility bills is not why the affluent is going to buy. They, we're going to buy because it's going to add to the quality of the home. It's going to impress people when they come to your home because around here people will entertain at home and want to impress that would-be business partner or a key employee or whoever it is that you just your neighbors that you want to impress. So, you've, designer is an important word. There you go, designer. Should have said custom in here. Twenty percent off. Okay, interesting. Um, lower utilities, reduced glare, increased privacy. That's good for lower utilities. Mistake. I wouldn't put that number one. You can put it in there. We care, of course. We, we didn't get to be affluent because we throw money away, but it's not the number one concern I would promote. I would promote increased privacy, and then I would explain the health benefits of UV protection. We care about health. We care about privacy. Comfort, reducing the glare. I would explain all these. So reduced glare, which means... You're going to be a lot more comfortable in your beautiful home. Increase privacy that you deserve in your home and UV protection so you live longer and healthier and have more energy. Lower utilities so you, so you can, you know, get a Big Mac. You know, that, does, that doesn't belong with the rest. Uh, but anyway, next, landscape design, pinnacle pavers and yard design, $500 off something is here. And what's the other one is zero, zero percent and, z and zero dollars down financing available. OAC. Again, you're using jargon. Now, maybe I should know what that means, OAC. I don't know what it means. Maybe it means their own financing or that's the name of the financing corporation or something. $500 off, see back for details. That's smart. Gets me to take the next step and flip it over. And I flip it over, and it says $500 off, oh, weasel claws, $500 off any service of 5000 or more. So it's a 10% discount. Not thrilling to me. I'd rather, again, I'd rather have the free two tickets to the Renaissance Fair. You know, it's more, you gave me something free. Sounds more exciting than a 10% discount. And as soon as you start playing this game, 10% discount, and by the way, it's not 10%, because if my service is $10,000, it's a 5% discount. So this is a kind of a crummy discount, and you're allowing me to price shop you. So now I can look through this deck or anything else I see on anyone's website or anywhere that says $600 off, and already you lost. So I wouldn't be pronouncing that stuff to the affluent. And oh, you made the same mistake here as the last one with the not camel backing not capitalizing the letters. I capitalized the first one for some bizarre reason and didn't capitalize the other P in pavers and then AZ at the end. So it's, you know, pinnacle pavers. You know, I know I know what it means, but you could make it a lot easier and therefore the subconscious understand a lot more when you capitalize the words for crying out loud. Um, and here's everything about you. Me, me, me. What we do. We do this, we do that, we do this, we do that. How about what I get? How about using this instead for something much more important to me, which is me? What I will get. Like the last one, right? The benefits, although they didn't explain it well. Here are benefits that I will get. I will get lower bills, less glare, more privacy, and more health protection. Here you just tell me, 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 what you do. I'm not that concerned with what you do. And then for some reason you put on here logos of credit cards. That was good 15, 20 years ago. Made you look like you're a real company, not just a guy with a van in his driveway. But now you're making me think you're a guy with a van in his driveway. Why are you showing credit card logos? And just a thing of Facebook. Tell me how to find you on Facebook or why, more important, you know, and get double the discount when you like our Facebook page. You know, give me a reason to go there. Anyway, that one was not well done. Oh, this one's well done. Uh, at least so far, first glance, garage, floor, something, because they got the word ultimate, which is a good word for marketing to the affluent. We like things that are the ultimate, the best, the absolute best. We like that. And then look at the cars they're showing are luxury cars and a whole luxury feeling about this thing. So that's smart. Customize, there's that important word, custom. Protect, important, because when we're investing in a car like this, that's an investment. We want to protect our investment. Strengthen. Okay, that's good. And beautify. Okay, we like that stuff. And on the back, it's going to, oh, free upgrade. We like that. We don't know what it means. See, you got to call for details. What does it mean? I didn't even know there's two levels. I know, but I'm saying maybe your average person doesn't know there's different levels of garage floor coating. So free upgrade. We like it. 
And there's an actual happy homeowner. Look at that. Not only do they have their truck in the garage, they actually have the, the furniture in the garage. Now, you see that a lot around here. Is that a TV on the wall? You see that a lot. People have kind of like the man cave in the garage. So sure, you have the car, but that yeah, they have a refrigerator in the color in the co in the corner for like entertaining football games. So they'll have like the stuff on the wall, go team, whatever, and the recliners and the couches and the refrigerator. And it's kind of like there are no basements, by the way. Very rarely you find a basement out here in the Scottsdale area because everything's rock. Uh, so man caves are often I've seen them in garages. So that's kind of cool. Five star ratings, very important to a luxury buyer. Uh, and they're very smart with the website. You see the difference? How I immediately know that's garagefloorcoating.com. And a free upgrade available from Premium or Ultra, both great words, marketing influence. So they're lower, their lowest class of product is Premium. And then they have Ultra to any Mica Media coding system. Don't know what that means, but it says call for more information. Very smart. This is well done. In 20 years in business, I like Ethical Arizona is something they belong to with an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating in the corner. Okay, very well done. I like it. Next, Central Arizona Supply, 1968, 50 years old. And again, fit for, for being around that long, they don't understand websites at all. And they've Central as Supply, like, what are you doing? It's pretty easy to capitalize it, wouldn't it be? Capital C, A, Z, and an S. Gift certificate, 25 I can't even believe you said that. Here we are. I'm telling you, 500 isn't enough. 300 doesn't thrill me. Lowering hundreds of dollars off my utility bills. Yawn, $25 off. Now, here's they're showing luxurious type of fixtures here. You know, these are really cool faucets and sinks and showers and whatever. But $25 off, what are you doing? In other words, the person doing this doesn't know what they're doing. Okay, so the same thing you put on the valve pack is not what you, and if it works, like gangbusters in the valve pack, and then they do it in the RSVP, it's not going to work, and then what do you think they're going to say when the rep calls them from RSVP to renew for the next mailing? Oh, RSVP doesn't work. RSVP works. You're just not doing it right. You put the same thing you put in a valve pack to people that love discounts, the price shoppers, you put that to a fluent buyer, $25 off. Come on now, stop it, Rip. So, again, the three locations smart, putting the Scottsdale, the closest one on the top, $25 off a purchase of $150 or more. Oh, wait, that's like a 15% discount, right? 16%. And then unbelievable weasel clause language they immediately get into. Not eligible for water heaters, pipes, fittings, no cash value. Only Did did I did anyone watching think this had a cash value? Is that necessary to put? No cash value. Crap. I thought this had a tremendous cash value. I thought I could just go into a supermarket and, you know, buy hundreds of dollars worth of groceries with, with my RSVP mailing. Aren't these all have a cash value? Can't I just go into Costco next time and go, hey, honey, take these to Costco, and we'll get like 40 bucks off because these probably have a dollar value. Stupid. What are you doing? Uh, next, um, only good with this card in showrooms at the time of purchase. I, I read, I'm tired of reading this. It's so bad. I don't even want to read this thing. All they're telling me is what's bad about it and how bad it is and how restrictive. To get my lousy 20 can you believe it? To get my lousy $25, I have to go to the showroom and show this, this card at the time of purchase, or else they won't give you. Are you telling me, uh, whoever did, if you're watching, whoever did this, are you telling me that if I went into your place, if I called you on the phone and said, I want you, I, I've never heard of you before, but somebody recommended me, and uh, I, because I went to their house, they had a beautiful, this on the back, another beautiful, very cool, luxurious bathtub there. And they had a luxurious bathtub they showed me, and they said, you did it, and I would like to buy from you. Uh, any kind of deal you can make me? No, no, I can't, because you didn't come into the showroom with that card at the time of purchase. I can't give you $25 off. Tell me that could possibly be true. So that's dumb. Okay, now we have Sir Grout. I'm sure you're very proud of your name, so you put it on the top, but anyone here calling because their name is Sir Grout? Is that why I should call? So you've wasted the premium space on your card. Not everyone's like me, by the way, who's going to read through every one of these, which I normally throw them out anyway. So uh, people not just because you paid for an ad doesn't entitle it to be read. Understand that. Just because you mailed something to someone's house doesn't, in, doesn't mean they read it. People are like, oh, well, I put that in the ad. Just because you paid for the ad doesn't entitle you to having it read. You put your stupid name at the top 
I already don't want to read anything else. You didn't give me any reason to look at this card other than I'm doing a critique of it. But if otherwise, I don't care. Your name is Sir Grout. Why don't you say, well, there it is, $50 off any service. Hey, sir, $50 off any service. Boom. And then you can put Sir Grout on the body. You're so proud of your little, you know, knight's uh, mask. What do they call that? The helmet. Like, come on now. Uh, super service award is smart. $50 off any service. Sir Grout seals the dirt out. Again, you're so proud of your name that it rhymes with the word out. Uh, you know, stop it. Uh, cleaning, sealing, restoration of ground tile stone. And again, me, me, me with the bullet points, everything you do. Hey, you do grout and tile cleaning. You do? I had no idea. Your name is Sir Grout. Underneath it says cleaning, sealing, and restoration of grout and tile. And then your first bullet point is grout and tile cleaning and then grout color sealing. So in other words, you had no idea what to put here. And the rep who says, you know, these reps of these things always go, oh, we'll help you create the ad. They don't know what they're doing, folks. You got to get a guy like me. Thanks for the likes. Oh, I haven't said hello in a while. Rick is here. Rick is here. Great seeing you, Rick. Chris Bell. Hey, and Rick says solid info. Rick is a marketing superstar. Uh, on approved credit. I apologize. You're probably making a joke about one of these dumb things they said. And uh, Raphael said, good to see you. Uh, so anyway, I, I, they do a good job at the website there. Sir Grout Scottsdale, capital letters. Thank you very much. And oh, before and after, I like that. Not just the afters. You'll see a lot of these remodelers and stuff and even this these fixtures and these windows and everyone we've shown so far in this home that was painted, they're all shown only the after. I think that's a big mistake. I love seeing the before and afters. Show me the before and the after so I can look and go, hey, wait a minute. That is kind of what our tile looks like. I just thought it was kind of like brown separating squares. But you're telling me that it's supposed to look like that? Oh, my goodness, had no idea. And the same thing here. Like, I thought those were like the color of the dividing of the squares, but they can look beautiful. That's very cool. Show me the before and after. Um, so anyway, uh, it, it, you only put bullet points like this when you have no idea what to write, and you're getting really bad advice. So whoever helped you with this quote said, oh, I know what to put in this space here. Just repeat everything you do that already everybody already knows that you do. Oh, how about a testimonial? You think you could put in here, Mary from Scottsdale says, man, you know, I, I use 17 other grout cleaning companies, and they were all terrible, but I called Sir Grout, and I will I recommend them to everybody. I'll never use anybody. Hmm, that might have been a little better to get you the call and get you the job than we do stripping, caulking, and maintenance. Like, you think? You do caulking? Wow, I had no idea that Sir Grout does caulking. Who knew? All right, next. Uh, another meaningless slogan at the top. Tame your, tra tame your drama queens. Who can tell me what kind of business that is? Tame your drama queens. Whatever you guess, you're right, because it could be any business on earth. Tame your drama queens. What are you doing? What is with people again? They're just going to say RSVP doesn't work, direct mail doesn't work, advertising doesn't work. No, you're not doing it right. You're wasting your prime real estate, the very top of your head. The only thing, in this case, again, the only thing I'm going to read because it sucks so bad, is a meaningless slogan, tame your drama queens. What are you talking about? Unless those are the lyrics to some song that I'm supposed to know or something like, tame your drama queen. Oh, and then what, what did he put underneath? He or she pump. Palms, that is. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, you lost me even more as if I'd still be reading. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read one more line where in real life this would be so far chucked already, but I'm going to give him one more chance by reading one more line and see if somehow this can become translated into English. 21 years leading the valley. We're in the valley here. In fertilization care. Oh, so it's valley tree feeders. More than water makes them grow. Tree feeders. Oh, I think I understand now. These are these are uh, the automated, uh, you know, uh, sprinklers, sprinkler system, right? Tree feeders. So I like the before and after. You got the wilting, and by the way, this is how everything looks down here in the summer, unless you get our steak. So here they have 15% off, which is a weaselly small amount, full tree care, and then they even have weasel clauses after it because if you want the whopping 50% off, you must present the card to technician, really. Again, not smart to an affluent homeowner who could not be bothered presenting the card to the technician. But when he called the technician, if you're so lucky that somehow I called you to my luxury home where I have 
20 of these palms and I have to pay you hundreds of dollars a month or whatever. And then I say, hey, you know, I remember seeing something about 15% off. And the guy would say to me, you really think the guy would say to me, oh, don't you have the card? You must present the card. Like, who would say that to an affluent prospect? Uh, all trees love our feeding. All palms are $31 a tree. Now you have some crazy, again, you're pricing yourself possibly out of a job. Why are you telling me it's $31 for this type of tree and 21 for that type and 20 for the? Now I can price shop. you. Now I can just go right to Google.com and type in tree feeding in Scottsdale, Arizona, and see what comes up. And as soon as somebody goes, oh, well, we do palms for $29.50 a tree, you're out. So big mistake. Sell me on the quality and the benefits. The, you're, you, you invested $1,000 into that tree. Don't you want it, and, and, and a million dollars into your home. Don't Your million-dollar home is going to look like a wasteland if you don't invest in other, you know, getting our services or whatever. I'm not here to, you know, on the fly, just off the top of my head, give them some. But just about anything is better than this. And I do like this. They're giving you some urgency that it is March, and they're telling you to feed now, not wait until it looks like that in July. It might be too late. You lost the plant. Feed now. But then they should have said, you know, therefore, we're having a special. It's only available now and blah, 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 blah. But they do have some benefits here. I like that. Okay, so they have minimizing blowovers. I guess that's when the tree blows over from the wind because it's so weak. I haven't been out, down here long enough, but I'm guessing that's what happens. Or in a dust storm, we get those. Maybe the whole tree blows over. We want to not only minimize that, we want to, like, kind of eliminate it. I think I would say eliminate. Uh, Well-fed trees and plants fight disease and pests. We like that a lot. Health. And enjoy better fruit foliage and fronds. Okay, again, you now he's so he's into the alliteration now. So he likes meaningless quotes, alliteration, fruit foliage, and fronds. Like fronds are the actual tree. But okay, I'm 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 okay with it. He said some benefits. Next, we got a restaurant, right? Yeah, restaurant. Bagels and Bialis. Oh, that's what it's called. Huh. And then really terrible URL again. Nibaz, Nibaz, which means NYBB Arizona, I'm guessing. Oh, NYBB, there it is. I love NYBB. So, oh, New York Bagels and Bialis, I got it. So all that for Nibaz. New York Bagels and Bialis, breakfast and lunch, $25 in gift, gift certificates to for breakfast and lunch. That actually sounds pretty good, right? $25 off a... Oh, whatever we were looking at didn't thrill me at all. But $25 up breakfast, lunch, I mean, that means a free meal. So the details are, oh, $5 off any ticket of $10 or more, 50% discount. Buy one, get one free. Standard for restaurants. We like that. Limit one per table. And, oh, so you're getting five for each month. Uh, and here's, I guess, here's the, the little circle. They're going to, you know, use the puncher and punch it out. So I get $25 in gift certificates, 5 bucks off a $10 meal which is not 50% off, Lee. It's actually $10 or more. So no one from an affluent home is going to breakfast and dropping less than 10 bucks on a breakfast or a lunch. Don't be ridiculous. Again, we're not McDonald's shoppers here. Uh, and not, well, possibly going alone on the way to work or something. But And if they are, and then it's only 10 bucks, then we're okay with that. So it's probably, you know, 20%, 30% off, something, whatever. Uh, again, See, even I'm saying whatever. I don't even really care about the five dollars off. I care more about the quality of your bagels. And here's the smart thing: you're telling your story. This ought to be on your website, and your business cards, on your mailers, and your ads. Everything. Tell your story. If in fact you can tell it in a compelling way that gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling about you and trusted feeling and all that, you can tell in a story. New York Bagels Mealies brings the best of New York to Arizona. We're talking authentic bagels. See, they even talk in a in a New York phrase. We're talking. That's how we talk in New York. We're talking authentic bagels, all of your deli favorites, fresh desserts, and so much more since 1987. So 25, 30 years, right? We've been producing the freshest, the most authentic bagels on the planet. You'll find nearly four dozen different varieties. Variety is a smart word for the affluent. Uh, baked fresh daily, open seven days a week. There's the convenience, very important. You can stop by. That's convenience, just the phrase stop by. It, denotes convenience and enjoy a light snack or a hearty meal. Let's not overlook the homemade soups, fresh salads, smoked fish, burgers, drink specials, a full bar of weights, and the Scottsdale, two locations in Scottsdale on the top, and then a Tempe location down there. So, you know, overall, I like it. All right, next, custom landscape lighting. 
That's the headline. Now, last time, we haven't, I don't think we've seen one yet, but we saw several of the same uh, headline formula in the Valpac, which was a question saying, do you have this problem that I can solve? So cracked windshield, windshield repair shop. Um, you know, losing heat out your windows for a window replacement company. Uh, you know, uh, weeds all over the place for a lawn care service, things like that. So could they have said a question, do I even, am I interested in, in custom landscape lighting? They're using the important word custom, I like that. But um, they could have asked a question here and gotten my interest, entered my mind a little bit instead of just saying custom landscape lighting. I'm like, okay, whatever. But uh, to again, to the affluent homes around here, this is real cool stuff, like when you drive and you see them, because we're in an elevated area too, right? So the, like I, I lived in Illinois for 15 years. Landscape lighting, not that important when no one can see your home because everything's flat. But here, the homes, the beautiful homes that are up in the mountains, everyone can see all the homes going up the hill. And so landscape lighting makes them look really, really cool. So you get a free nighttime lighting demonstration. Don't know what it is, but it sounds a little intriguing. Like they would come out to my home and actually set up lighting or would I go to the to their showroom, to somewhere to see it, light more likely. But anyway, um, Epic Lights Custom Landscape Lighting, $200 off a new installation. We also repair and service existing light systems called to schedule an appointment. Up oh, there's an important word for the affluent, elegant, resort style. Elegant and resort style, those are important because where do we stay when we go on trips? Not Motel 6. We don't stay at the Holiday Inn. We stay at an elegant resort. So why not have elegant resort style lighting at home? This is the type of places we stay when we go somewhere. They they look like that. That's what they're, they're telling us here. Custom design, important. Breathtaking, sounds cool. Curb appeal, that's a key word if you're selling the home. You know you want to get the curb appeal up. That means people believe already this is worth $1.8 before they even look inside. The curb appeal, it's a real estate term. Uh, enhanced security we like, more hours to use your outdoor space we like, that's more uh, quality of life, enhanced home value we like, energy efficient, see that's a better way of saying it than save money on your bills. Save money is not a good phrase to use to the affluent, but efficient is a very good word to use. So there you go. So all those other postcards that said save money on your bills, big mistake, you're turning me off save money. What Are you telling me I'm a price shopper? Uh, I remember when I was broke. Are you saying I'm broke and I have to watch every penny? Like it's a terrible phrase to use for an affluent homeowner who's no longer broke, although a lot of us are self-made and we understand what it was to, in fact, a lot of us went to college and you're never more broke than college broke as the saying goes. So we know what it's like to need to save money on bills. You don't want to say that to us now. You want to say energy efficient. That makes us feel we're smart, and smart is an important feeling that affluent people like to have. Long-lasting. HOA-friendly, okay. HOA-friendly lighting, okay, that is important in gated communities. These, these severely gated communities have HOA restrictions on the lighting, how many wattage, how bright, how so. Okay, very good. So just saying, recognizing that makes sense. And then you're, you could use a little help with your URL here with the Epic light zazz. A lot of people like to have a zazz at the end of their site. Um, nighttime demo shows exactly how your home will look at night. I, I like that. In other words, they'll come out to my home. They should spell it out instead of making me still think this is what it is. They're coming to my home for free and setting up lights to do a demo at my home so I can see what that's convenience and that's uh, that's catering to me and recognizing the value that I have that you'll come all the way out there and set all that up and do all that up uh, I'm like I like it I really like what they're doing there okay next oh my goodness I mean this is standing out by looking so cheap but it really looks cheap uh, shutter and bland blind repair DR which I guess means doctor but it could mean drive. I happen to live on a street that's called Drive, and so DR makes me think right away Drive, So, but I guess they're called Doctor. Um, this already tells me I have a feeling they don't realize they're marketing to the affluent. They're probably going to use all kinds of price shopping and other terms in here, but let's see. Did your dog eat your shutters? We repair, replace broken magnets, missing staples, missing, missing broken louvers. Look, again, when you're marketing to the affluent, it's not likely we wait that long. We don't wait till things are broken. We don't fix things. We don't repair things. We improve things. We we upgrade things. Okay, so we will say, oh, those shutters are like twenty years old. They're they look they're perfect. They're not broken. They're just kind of old. 
Let's get new ones. That's what we do. We don't wait until they're broken and, and, and they're falling apart and they're broken louver pins. And, and, and I like the fact you got to flip it around. That's engagement. you got to flip this card around to read this, this stuff that goes around. It's, now it's right side up. Now it's upside down, so that's kind of cool. Uh, cellular shade, verticals, window treatments, draperies. You name it, we can fix it. Okay, but again, fix, not a good word to the affluent. We don't wait till things are broken. We don't go to shoe repair. You think we wait till we have holes in our shoes? When I did door to door sales for nine years, I had holes in all my shoes uh, for the first year while I was in the field making no money and being broke. Uh, we were famous for how many pairs of Payless 1999 shoes we would go through. Not only did we have the holes in the shoes, we waited till we had holes in our socks. That's how bad it was. We were, and then I was like, wait a minute. We're being stupid here. We would laugh at night, you know, five of us jammed into a into a room somewhere to save money because we were all broke and, and, and homeless and desperate and whatever. Like, we would, you know, look at all the sh holes in our shoes, but then like, oh, well, we're getting holes in the socks, and socks are like a dollar a pair in the dollar store. So now as soon as you go through like five pairs of socks, what'd you do? Now the pair of shoes is 25 bucks. So like, you got to get the new shoes before you get holes in your socks. But I, I digress. I mean, that's... We're repairing and fixing shoes when we were broke. Now you just say, hey, I got a perfectly good pair of shoes. I think I'll buy six more. I mean, isn't that what affluent women do? Don't they have that? We just looked at the, the closet organizer. They got 150 pairs of shoes, and I'm probably on the low end of that, right? They go to the store and they go, hey, I like those shoes. Give me one in every color. They don't go, oh, my shoes are broken. I guess I got to go shoe shopping. So we don't wait till things are broken. So you're making a mistake there. And, uh, uh, save $75, no service fee, okay, no service fee. You could have used the most powerful word in Martin in advertising. Anybody know what it is? Free, okay, no service fee. So free, free trip charge. I don't even bother saying it. I mean, I would assume you're coming on your free. Now, here's a smart thing to do. Your email address has the capital letters. Shutter blind repair doctor at gmail.com. That's incredibly clear. You see how it wouldn't be if it all ran together with small letters? All right, I'm harping on that point a lot. Um, and we specialize in, I don't care what you specialize in, but I do care what I would get out of it. Manufacturers we service. Isn't there another way of saying that? Couldn't they say, if you have one of these, you are about to be treated to the best service you've ever had? Change the word we to you whenever you can, okay? Uh, call today for a free estimate. Again, free estimate. Like, give me something. Um, five reasons you need a pool cover. Hibernate your pool, extends a swim season, cleaner pool, saves you money, saves lives. I would have skipped the saving money part. As pronounced, I might have said again, more efficient operating. We know what that means. It means saves money. But you want to say it to us so that we feel that we're fluent and successful. You say it's efficient. You know, when you say saving money, if I think of saving money, I think that I'm broke again. Um, solar Safe Pool Covers LLC. Not so sure the LLC is so necessary. Like, hey, I'm going to the Diamondbacks game. Oh, wait, that's Arizona Diamondbacks Baseball Club LLC. Does it say that on the tickets? I don't think so. Um, here's why you need a pool cover. Oh, so it was so good they're repeating the same five things. All right, not bad. Uh, I might have even used this for lead gen, right? So you send for our report the five reasons, you know, and I wouldn't say in a positive way, I'd say it in a negative way. Five biggest mistakes people make with their pool. Send for the free report. Now I'm gathering the lead, and I get enough of those, and I don't have to do as much paid marketing and advertising because i got my own base of prospects to constantly be marketing to, and that's called follow-up. And the fortune is in the follow-up. Maybe you heard that one. So you want to generate the leads. Free estimates again, and here for some reason you decided to tell me cost thirty-five dollars a month. Oh, but then it saves seventy-five more per month. Oh, so I'm going to save the operating costs by having the cover, right? So the heated pool, the heat doesn't go out or whatever, and it costs thirty-five, saves seventy-five again. Forty bucks a month doesn't change my lifestyle. It's not real exciting, but okay. Oh, I like this by the way, He's showing his picture on there. I like that. Local, uh, kind of solopreneur, you know, solo operator, owner-operator type of thing. I like to see the picture. And when he comes to the door, I go, hey, wow, that is you. Yep, 
I'm the owner of the company, and I come out on every call. You're never going to get some pimply-faced kid with no last name that you don't even know who it is, and different guy comes the next month. Nope, it's me, blah, 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 people like that. All right, next, fireplace door guy. You put that at the top? That's going to get me to call you because you're fireplace door guy? <sighs> update your fireplace. Update, we like that. Upgrade would have been even smarter, all right? But update, good word to use for the affluent. Upgrade would have been smarter. Because update makes it sound like I got an old fireplace. You telling me I got an old fireplace? I could have a brand new one. I could have bought this $2 million home this week. This thing arrives, and it says upgrade the fireplace. And I might respond and go like, yeah, we bought it, and I would like to upgrade it. Even though it's brand new, these look better. We want something better. We don't want to be insulted and told our stuff is old. So uh, now I take it back. I don't like the word update at all. I like the word upgrade. Upgrade your fireplace with custom. That's great. Custom wrought iron doors. And then they have specialty doors, rectangular doors, arch doors. You had to tell me that? You had to write the word rectangular under the rectangle and arched under the arch? Like you really which you really had to say that? And then what's this gonna say? Uh this one will say fireplace? Yes. Oh gas. Gas fireworks. Okay. A lot of these down here. A lot a lot everywhere. You just push the button. Fake logs. Up, oh, smart URL, fireplacedoorguy.com, although it's all about him. What if it said, you know, uh, I don't know, I'm not here. To, I don't have a lot of time to fix these. I'll just tell you what's wrong with them for the most part. Uh, it, if it takes some creative, like thinking up a new URL, I'm not doing that here on the spot. Uh, go to my 25K and 25.com, and in a 25-minute call, I'll bring you at least 25000 in your business. That's what I'll help you come up with stuff. Update, again, your fireplace today. I would have said upgrade. Stunning, I like that word, to the affluent. We like things that are stunning. Elegant, we like. And then you got $100 off this, $200 off that. Free estimate again is a mistake. Should be better than free. Next, we have Arizona's leading manufacturer of fine outdoor furnishings. Blah, 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 blah. Me, 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 me. Did I say I got to open this up and read all about you? I want to read all about what it does for me. So what does the fact that you're the leading manufacturer since 2009, what does that do for me? There could be a number of things, I guess. Do I get the lowest price, the best service, the best uh, – do I get it custom made because you're the manufacturer? Um, do I get the best quality? Do I get it directly from the factory with no middleman? Do I get less hassle? Do I not have to go to a crowded showroom and you know be around people I don't want to be around because I'm a stuck-up elite a fluent homeowner, like what do I get from the fact that you're the leading manufacturer? I don't, I don't, I got to know what I get out of it. We build it, we sell it, we guarantee it. All right, I kind of like that as their registered trademark slogan down here. As slogans go, it's still fairly meaningless to me. Um, we are the local manufacturer at this level of quality. Our prices are unbeatable. Okay, prove that to me by saying the guarantee is we guarantee the lowest price. I didn't see that in here. Uh, 1795 for the thing on the front, the the umbrella and the whatever and all. Okay, save 10% off a custom sunbrella. 10% doesn't throw me. And up, oh, choose. Well, I should read it with you guys. Choose from hundreds of sunbrella fabrics. So we like that. Lots of choice. Good for the affluent. Uh, powder coated frame options. I don't know what powder coated. Why is that good? Is that better than coated with something else or not coated with anything? Coated with powder? I don't, I don't understand. Coated with powder. Doesn't the powder kind of blow away the first day? I don't understand. Custom design options. Custom we love. Handcrafted we love. Lifetime warranty we love. Lifetime thread warranty we love. Uh, so those are good. Five locations open seven days a week. The convenience we love. I would have moved the two Scottsdale locations to either put them in the middle and bigger or put them first, instead they've put them last. Uh, I think that's not smart. This seems like it's an RSVP. It is. It's it's advertising their own thing. Smart, because a lot of people getting these were business owners. How do you think we're so affluent? We're the business owners. So RSVP works, if you do it right. It will double your advertising results or it's free. Now, now we're talking. See, now if, if they helped everyone else put in guarantees like that, everyone would get more calls and renew and advertise more with them. Like, double your results or it's free. Call for details on a free media kit today. Like, call for details. Not weasel claws all under here so you don't have to call. Like, we double your results or it's free. 
yeah, I don't know what that means. Double my results from the Val Pack. Double my results from my website. My crappy postcards that I have. I mean, what? I like it. Good, good job. Here's a restaurant. Buy two, get two free. Oh, tacos. Salt and lime. Modern Mexican grill. Oh, before three. Before three p. Okay, so it's for lunch only. I thought it was going to say three to seven, which is really ridiculous. Uh, buy two, get two free. So well, that's, I can take that better than buy one, get one free, because people have two tacos. No one goes in. Not many people would go in and say, I'll have one taco. Full, fuel the fiesta. Again, I would have used that to tell me something I care about, like this. Hey, buy two tacos, get two free. Why not put that up in this meaningless slogan? I'm gonna go, You know why I'm going to go there, honey? You know why we should go there? Because their slogan is fuel the fiesta. Not it has the award-winning food, not not free food, not live entertainment, not convenient location, not anything we would want. Just full, a meaningless slogan, fuel the fiesta. Uh, boy, this is strange. I've never seen that before in a mailer, and I've seen a lot of mailers. Your email address. Oh, you know what this must be? Got it. This is, I have seen it before. This is a franchise, and they got this from the franchisor and said, customize this, put in your phone number goes here, your address goes here, and your email address goes here, and they didn't put it. They just left it saying your <laughs> email address. I thought there was a my email, but this, that's what happens when you get a template and you pay no attention or you have the wrong marketing person or you, you, you have such little respect for the power, the most important thing in your entire business, which is your marketing, that you give it to some underling somebody to do, and they screw it up by sending it out saying your email address. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't unsell the thing. It's just hilarious and fun, and I don't know what you had to gain by putting your email address anyway, but your email address is kind of funny. All right. Advantage autographs looks kind of looks kind of cheap, doesn't it? Already looks clunky and cheap. And you can see from some of these others that look luxurious looking, you know, very slick, clean. This one looks clunky. Now, sometimes clunky can ugly can sell, can get results, can get response because it stands out from the clutter. Um, no up to nonsense. Our rebate is guaranteed. Oh, so it's not up to $100 cash back. It's $100 cash back. Okay. So they're telling you competitors have some BS offers. Enjoy your new movie theater room while you wait. Oh, enjoy our yeah. What was I thinking? Enjoy our new movie theater room while you wait. We like that. See, luxurious shoppers, affluent shoppers, would like to wait in a new movie theater room. So they've used the word "new," another one of the more powerful words in advertising and marketing. It's a new movie theater room with free candy, popcorn, ice cream, and beverages, and free Wi-Fi. I almost want to go there just to go there now. Like this, when I was on the road doing sales, man, I would have wanted to stop in here all the time and hang out and, you know, well, I, I didn't need any free candy and pot, whatever, but I mean, hey, have a free some free beverage there. I almost want to go there now. How cool is that? And check it out. Customer entertainment while you wait. Important to the affluent, and they're showing the picture of it, that you're not just waiting with your kids or you, you know, you got to, it's hell to go shopping with the kids and whatever. Like, no, let's, hey, they want to go here. So it's Advantage Auto Glass, five-star rated business, and they'll do your auto glass, and while you wait, you're hanging out in the movie theater. Now, anybody here who has any kind of come-to-you business, uh, go-to-you, you know, a destination business, brick and mortar, where there's a waiting room, auto repair, doctor, dentist, attorney, anybody, could you change your waiting room into a movie theater and give out some free popcorn and, and beverages and ice cream? Like, how cool is that? Very cool. Movie theater at our shop. You think they're proud of that? Movie sh theater at the shop. Customer entertainment. Movie theater while you wait. Movie theater down here while you wait. We like it. I would have, you know, not put this. It's your name, Advantage something? Advantage Auto. Why do I care? Why didn't you put, you know, the most fun business you'll ever be in? Something like that. Uh, free snacks, drinks, and Wi-Fi. 17-foot theater screen. I mean, just sounds so cool. I think I need my auto glass repaired on Super Bowl Sunday if I would ever watch the NFL again. I think I'll just go in, <laughs> eat for free. One. Hey, everybody, come on over and, you know, say your windshield's great. All right, uh, next, stamped concrete. We make concrete look like real stone. Right, that's what con stamped concrete is. Has your pool deck seen better days? We can help. So there it is. There's the formula of question. Do you have the problem we can solve? We can solve it. So 
Has your pool deck seen better days? We can help. It's time to enjoy your pool deck again. Pool deck restore. Always green, always livable. Never mow, water, fertilize. Never, never again. There's the convenience we love, being affluent. The green lawn, that's where you say the name, the green lawn. You don't use this space up here and anywhere. You put it down in the corner because only after I can see what you'll do for me do I give a crap who you are and your name, your company, and your slogan and all that crap. Smart use of the website. There's two phone numbers to call. Quality is important to affluent buyers. Outstanding service is important. Affordable pricing, not as much, but they put it last. We do, after with all things equal, of course, we do want affordable pricing. Um, there are other ways of saying that to the affluent, but okay, we like that. And the back says quality products. And that's about it. They don't really say anything on the back here. And then these bullet points were a waste. Should I call them up and say, do you do patios? Right? We're, we're stamped concrete. Uh, has your pool deck seen better days? And on the back, they put pool decks. And here it says pool deck restore. Should I call them up and go, hey, you know, do you do pool decks? Well, yeah. We even put it in a bullet point. Like, how about a testimonial here? How about a before and after instead of just the after? How about some more reasons to call? How about telling me your guarantee here? Guarantee blah, blah, blah. Or else, and good use of the website, capital letters. Next, again, very sharp and luxurious looking, very clear and clean. One room crown molding special, three ninety nine. See back for details. Again, when you do that, you're susceptible. If there was another crown molding person in here who had one room for three eighty nine, you're out. Not likely ten bucks makes all the difference, but why are you doing that? Uh, iCrownHomes.com. See, here's where you don't put the first letter capitalized. You put the first letter small, I Crown Homes, as in Internet, Crown Homes. And there it is again, I Crown Homes. The C is capitalized. So very good, well done there. If the I was capitalized, it would be a little confusing. I might think it's I C Round Homes. Well done there. Uh, and what does it say on the back? One room special again, three ninety nine. So they are blasting out their, mo their biggest selling point, they think, is the price. Again, when you're marking the fluent, price is not the biggest selling point. I don't think... It's even in the top five. Uh, material, labor, and painting included is wonderful special. Wonderful. Not a good word. To the affluent. Includes your choice of any one room in your home. Your choice. Now, choice is a good word. Uh, to come with, to crown with 60 linear feet of product for $3.99. Limited time offer. What's the time limit, guy? So that was not well done. Uh, probably do excellent service. Just not well done marketing. Uh, need a new roof? We got you covered. Oh, now income all the, all the, do you have the problem we can solve? We can solve it. Formula headlines. Now we're getting them. Need a new roof? We got you covered. And again, they're being cute. But instead of being cute, could you sell? We got you covered. It's a roof. I get it. You're cute. Uh, could you instead of say, need a new roof? Highest quality roofs in the area, five years running. Five star rated. Master something. I mean, why don't use this to sell instead of answer it with some cute, meaningless phrase? Like, okay, you're cute. In fact, it's, it's almost unselling. I almost don't want a guy coming here who thinks the most important thing about doing work for me is that he's cute or intelligent or smart so he can rhyme things or come up with a new friend. No, I want a guy that all he cares about is the quality of what he's putting on my million-dollar home. Do not mess with my million-dollar home. So that's cute. But sounds like you're, you're, you, you think cute is so important, and I want you to think quality is important. $1,000 off, or we will beat any written roof replacement estimate by $5 more. I like that. It's bold, powerful guarantee. I like it. And all types of roofs, roofs at a reasonable price, supply solutions, roofing. See, finally now, oh, I think they say the name here too, but now they tell me the name now that I might want to call them. $1,000 off complete re-roof. Again, not a big deal for a million-dollar home around here with a, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 roof, even just a $20,000 roof. It's 5% off. Not a big deal. But the $1,000 sounds good, but when you realize it's roofing and around here, and now that it says complete re-roof, so if I'm just re roofing one area over the garage and it's, you know, a $6,000 job, I don't get the 1000 off. Our roofing experts take care good word to the affluent, to do quality work, that's good, give each roof a flawless installation, that's good, we work in a timely manner, that's good, pay attention to detail, is good, leave our job sites clean and looking good when finished, that's all good. You know what would even been better? 
I'm sure you know by following my videos. What would have even been better than saying all this stuff? Somebody else saying all that stuff. Right, a testimonial. Are you telling me it's that difficult? How long have you been in business to find one person to say, man, those roofing experts, they really took care. They did quality work. They gave my roof a flawless installation. They worked in a timely manner. They paid attention to detail. They left the job site clean and looking good when finished. My highest rating, Mary from Scottsdale. But no, they say it themselves. Zero percent options, financing available. OAC, options available. Still don't know what OAC means. I don't know. Free estimates, big mistake. You got to pay me something to do an estimate. Okay, next. Tree pros. Thought we've seen tree pros, but I guess not. Maybe I'm just getting a little delirious here. So I will try and wrap it up soon. We're only about halfway through. Let's go a little quicker here. This one, tree pros. That's it? Tree pros. And some little stuff on the top I can barely read about themselves. We've serviced over 30,000 of the Valley's residential commercial properties. And what that means to you is you will get the finest care and attention from the people who know the most, who have the most experience, the most expertise. We know every tree in this area, every type of tree. We know it all. Everyone trusts us. So then you can remove that thing and just say what's in it for me. And you can put the we've serviced 30,000 somewhere else, but not on the top. Bad uh, website uh, listing there with the all small letters, treeproses.com. Arizona's number one tree service company. There you go. Why not put that at the top? And we're number one because we're more certified tree workers, more certified arborists, and more five-star reviews than anybody. Now, that would be all over the top if it was me, not just some picture of a guy up in a tree. Oh, that's why I'm calling. I'm calling because looks like you can get up in a tree. Yeah, they're a tree, tree company. Uh, and uh, then they tell you all the things they do, another mistake. They're proving to me they're a tree company. Hello, do you do uh, industry standard pruning? Do you do sick tree diet? Do you do soil and Of course, they do all this stuff. They're a tree company. In fact, that's, a, that's the elegant way to tell me what you do. Give me some offers. You know, we have a, uh, so here they have tree risk assessment. $150 savings. But on the front, they said they have a sick tree diagnosis. Why do you have to say that? Obviously you do. You give me an offer for it. And there it is, eight-point irrigation diagnosis. So on the front, when you told me that you do irrigation, why would you have to tell me that? Uh, so on and on and on, and they have some offers on the back. And then they do the very smart thing, call for details. Okay? What's, what do you want people to do when you send this out? You want them to call. So don't put all the weasel clauses and don't spell everything out so they don't have to call. You want them to call. And then, by the way, you want highly trained, highly motivated, highly qualified people answering the phone with scripts that work. Otherwise, all this money and you're just going to say RSVP doesn't work because we got a bunch of calls and none became a customer. Hey, did you look over at Joe answering the phone and give him some better training and a better script? Oh, minor detail. Uh, next, we have AZ Sun. With a piggy bank. Not again, not the smartest thing to show to the affluent buyer, a piggy bank. Uh, I mean, doesn't that denote like you put pennies in there? Like fluent homeowners, you know, probably haven't seen a penny in years. Free to the first thousand callers, four hundred and ninety-five dollar value, a complete home solar study. Sounds like a free estimate. Don't tell me it's worth four nights try, but for you, the first thousand callers. How many people do you really think this is going to in this area? I mean, stop it already. Um, an Arizona top rated solar company by Yelp, BBB, offers a solar study, impact review, and answers to your questions. How much money can I save monthly? Number one thing you put, I'm already just going to stop. In the interest of time, I'll stop reading that one because they're, they're, they're penny pinching with the, with the penny thing, piggy bank, and the first thing is how much money. I understand that's the sale when you sell solar, that they're saving money, whatever, but so tell me how smart I am to do it. And instead of this whole story about this message and blah, 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 tell me your story. Make me love you. Make me want to call you. Next is a restaurant, uh, Jalapeno Inferno Bistro Mexicano or Mexicano or whatever. Buy one lunch, get one free. See back for details. Boom, there it is. Pretty simple. Just come and see us, and you'll get a free lunch when you bring somebody. That's it. That's it. Oh, it's available 
11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. So it's a least cent. It's a lunch. Buy a lunch. Oh, oh no, weasel claws. With the purchase of two beverages. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Of course I was going to buy two beverages. I'm an affluent homeowner who's going out to lunch in a Mexican restaurant. Oh, no, nothing to drink. I'll just have your hottest jalapenos, please. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? And so now you've got Pima Road Market Street. Pima Road is south of here. I, I would have put, well, I think that's Scottsdale. Pima Road is Scott. Scottsdale's huge, by the way. So I think that is Scottsdale. And then there's North Scottsdale, Pinnacle Peak. So they are both Scots. They only have Scots no members. Okay, so that's okay. And then Jalapeno Inferno. Oh, okay. But you made it difficult to read by putting it all in small letters for some reason. But okay. You lost me on the you must buy two drinks nonsense. How foolish. Uh, oh, oh, uh-oh. They called budget bros, and the bug is running away. Again, that's big mistake. Even just the name of your company, you should not be marketing to the affluent. Just just. You know, call yourself another thing. DBA, um, uh, luxury, luxury bros. Uh oh, they call luxury bros the luxury bug company. Oh, well, now I'm interested. But budget bros, if the most important thing is I save a few bucks? No, no. I want you to use the finest chemicals with the finest, the finest natural ingredients with no chemicals, but they still kill the bugs. I want it to be efficient and the finest and the, and the most modern thing and the, the, the newest equipment and the whatever, and you know, doesn't say any of that. Nope, doesn't say any of that. So all you've got is a low price, and that's all you're talking about here is all your pricing. So you should keep that to a mail pack and keep it out of the RSVP mailer if you ask me. Next, pretty tile, ugly grout. So here we have, we had, we had Sir Grout, and now we have the Grout Doctor. They both love their name so much. Um, expert grout and tile and stone. I think that's the same thing the other guy says. I wouldn't even be surprised if it's the same phone number as the other guy, which at least would earn my respect that he's a sharp marketer, putting two different cards into this mailer with two different names of companies but two different looks. So if I didn't like the first one, which I didn't, because it was Sir Grout with the cute, you know, something about out that rhymed with grout and just the big name at the top, I'm not calling you. But your phone number is 268-3257, and this guy is a different number, 648-something. So they're different guys. This guy was smart to put the capital letters, Sir Grout Scottsdale. This guy says, oh, no, I like to make my website real difficult to re recommend and remember. I put it in small letters for some reason. Nothing else on the whole thing. Even all these bullet points are in capitals, but for some reason, when I go here, I act like a fool and put it in all small numbers, uh, small letters. Okay, so uh, Grout Doctor now offering an innovative, advanced, we like that, natural stone restoration polishing process on all stones. All right, so we like that. So he didn't say, well, here's the offer. I mean, they do have an offer, but he didn't say we offer the cheapest service. We offer the innovative, advanced service. And then once it's the most innovative, advanced, best thing for my home, now we want to talk about price. Um, meaningless bullet points again. Hey, grout and tile repair. Really? Do you do grout and tile repair? Do you do grout cleaning? Do you do? Because your headline is pretty tile, ugly grout. And I got to ask, do you do grout cleaning? Well, oh, do you clean and seal natural stone? Really? Because that's what you said here. Expert grout, tile, and stone care. Anyway, so 50% off or $50. 50% fifty dollars off any job under two hundred bucks, ten percent off a job over two hundred bucks. That's kind of crazy. So the job that's under one ninety five, I'm getting twenty five percent off, and the job goes above that, I only get ten percent off. So if I give you a lot more work, do I get a worse discount? Oh, that's great. Thanks. And you know what? I'll have you come back five times, and each time I want you to just do one hundred ninety five dollars worth of cleaning. That's what I'm going to tell the guy. I would like you to clean. Again, see, we don't care about the price other than it's a fun game to play, uh, and we care once we'll get the service. But, like, why don't I have him come in and do $195 worth of cleaning and knock off 50 bucks? come back the next week, clean the other corner of the kitchen for another 195 and and then come back and do the other third corner for 195 and And eventually it would be an $800 job that I got $200 off. If I do it this way, it's an $800 job that I only get $80 off. You know, I'm no dummy. You can come back four times and waste all your gas and time and, and whatever for that foolish offer. 
another closet thing, and they show only the after. This is where it'd be real powerful to show you before, because that's how we all live, with stuff all over the place and whatever, and then you show us the after. Uh, closet sales event, 20% off. See your dream closet designed in 3D during your in-home estimate. We like that. We like to see. That's our thing. We're seeing it. Custom, certainly word they ought to have used here. They didn't. Big mistake. I mean, why aren't you saying custom on here somewhere? Um, but I get 3D something on a computer here in my dream closet. That's important. You're not telling me stop dreaming like the other guy. You're telling me it's my dream closet. And see back for details. I think I might have said call for details. Uh, oh, it's 25% off an order of 2500 or more. Not a big deal because any decent closet in any decent home here in the master closet is going to cost that much. So I think we're okay with that. And also they do home offices and garages and pantries and premium wall mats. Premium is an important number, uh, letter, word. You can tell it's late here. I've got to end up. i got to end soon. I can't even talk anymore. Elegance is important. Escape into elegance. Transform is a good word. Glass enclosed shower, new tile, complete remodel. Uh, yeah, instead of remodel, I might have said upgrade, but that's good. Uh, supply solutions construction, the one stop remodeling company, free estimates. Winter bathroom remodel special. It's winter for about another week. And besides, in March here in Arizona, it's in the 70s already. Um, but okay. Uh, Kitchen remodels, total home remodels, roof replacements. Now you're losing me. Okay, first you're the specialist in bathroom remodeling. Transform your bathroom, bathroom remodeling, and now you're telling me that somehow you're also a roof replacement specialist. You're you're losing me there. Okay, that's like something's wrong. God forbid with your heart, and someone goes, "Let me recommend you to the top cardiologist in the area." And you walk in, and he goes, "Yeah, here's my card. I'm a cardiologist and a dentist." What? I don't want you anymore. I want the guy that all he thinks, breathes, eats, talks, everything he does is cardiology. You know, I want the bathroom guy. Oh, but wait. Now suddenly you're spending some of your time climbing up on a roof and and, and doing all that? Like you lost me. So, anyway, free estimates again. What a mistake. Next, cool pool today, warm pool tomorrow. That's true. Our pool is today too cold too cool to go into, and it's going to warm up tomorrow. Oh, and that's because I ought to get a heated pool. This is smart. Send down the winter. Last place we were at had a heated pool. This one does not, so we just don't use it in the winter. Uh, solar heating, gas heating, electric heating. I think that means or your choice. Yep, options. So options are important to affluent buyers. Choice, options, important. Here, you could have used that important word and said options instead of confusing the heck out of me by saying it's heated with three different sources at once, which was confusing. And a confused mind, by the way, does what? That's right. They do nothing. And you don't want people to do nothing when they see your ad. Save up to $300 plus a $1,000 tax credit. Hurry. Hurry? Off expires when? In two months. You're telling me to hurry for two months? Okay, what's this thing? AquaScience AZ, finally, somebody capitalized the AZ, so this looks like English. AquaScience AZ, not AquaScience as, it would have said, but anyone else. Uh, more solutions, better products, great service. Okay, like that for the affluent. Free consult, yep, yeah, not, not good enough, but okay. Next, oh, holy moly, check that out. We have... Tomorrow's and Wednesday's and Thursday's rhinos of the day right there. Love it. So last Tuesday was my Valpac Wildlife World mailer, which is right there over on my shelf because it's now added to my rhino collection, which this will also be. Love it. Is that not awesome that the biggest draw to the place is the greatest animal of all time, the rhino, which I know they have brand new rhinos, three new rhinos. I saw them on a TV show when they first brought them over a couple of months ago, and they said, yeah, but they're not going to be open to the public till the spring. I remember that now because immediately my beautiful wife was like, oh, we have to go over there, honey. I'm like, not open to the public till the spring. They need to get them a couple of months to get acclimated to their new area before they're going to unleash them on the public and let people, you know, yell and scream and look at them and whatever. And so uh, we got to get over there. So uh, what do we got here? Eight acre, new eight acre edition, 20 new species, three new rhinos. Look what they just did there. New, new, and new. They used 
a great word for marketing and advertising three times on two lines. They didn't put a mean. Could they have put a meaningless slogan? Slogan, Safari Park. Hey, if you like animals, we like you. Uh, you know, our family values mean you'll like our park. Like you know, none of the BS. Nothing about them. It's all about me. Okay. Well, it's about them, but it's about what I get here: new species, new rhinos, and. The ultimate, great word for the affluent, year-round family fun, largest collection, exotic. Exotic is a great word for the affluent. We want things that are unique, different, custom, exotic. That, that appeals to us. And then the offer is the same as the Valpac, five bucks off admission per value. Not that we care, but we're definitely doing it. Look at this. I can't even wait to go now. Sioux Aquarium and Safari Park with 6,000 animals, eight shows daily, tons of rides, a 1,000 thrills, a million smiles all in one day. This is really well done. In fact, I know just who to bring. I have a client who is a huge – in fact, he has a business where he takes people on safaris to Africa and then actually uh, captures the trophies of the big five. Uh, well, I guess you – you can't get the big five because you have to pay obnoxious sums of money to get a license for a, an elephant or a hippo or a rhino or whatever. But he'll hunt the whatevers, and they're all they're mounted all over his house. And he has four kids, and I'll bet they would love to go to a zoo, aquarium, and safari park with six thousand animals and eight shows daily. Uh, and and uh, and that's oh, that is in a special place. The rhinos love it. All right, Let's see who else is here. Phil Brakefields, great to see you. And Dr. John Meese. Dr. John, who is a neighbor of mine, just uh, about a mile away. We've got to go over to the safari park, see the rhinos. What do we got here? ADT, heavy advertiser in every single type of advertising, TV, everything. You know their offer. They give you the free system, and then you pay per month, so they're just backing up all their TV advertising. And I love this one. Same-day installation, offer expires, blah, 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 blah. Do you really think the offer ever expires? I mean, isn't that in all their advertising? But anyway, limited time offer, again, doesn't work. And, and, and the mistake of doing this when it's not true is I lose trust. And trust is in such short supply in the world today. Name something you can trust quick. Yeah, see, you couldn't. Things that we used to. When I was a kid, used to trust doctors. Now they're killing people with their opioid addiction. So you can't trust doctors. You certainly can't trust politicians. You can't trust the news media. You can't trust athletes. You can't, maybe they're cheating on steroids. You can't trust anybody. You can't trust anyone. And then they come out and tell you something's a limited time offer when you know they will give you that offer anytime you call. However, look at this. A free $1,000 Visa gift card, free 15-door window sensors, Free digital camera, free, 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 free system. They could have said the free system includes this, but then they would have lost out on the power of saying free four more times. Smart move. What can you do in your business to break up your main offering into five different things so you can use the free word five times instead of just saying free system? Say, and a free this, and a free that. Yeah, because it just pulled things out of the system. So if I'm selling a car, I'm going to say free car, and a free steering wheel, and a free left front tire, and a free right rear tire, and a free seat, and a free glove box. And see what I just did? Instead of just saying, you know, free car, um, which obviously it's an example, a meaningless example, because no one's giving you a free car that I know of. Uh, anyway, uh, what do we got here? Up to 70% off restaurant gift cards and gift certificates. One sweet deal, az.com. You know they're doing the website, right? Because they're a website company. I got to go to this. I'm, I'm guessing I got to go to. They're not only doing it right with the capitals. Oh, no, it's the lighting. I thought they were making each word a different color, which is also a smart thing to do. Bold the word, every other word, make them different colors, make it even easier to stand out. Remember, one sweet deal, az.com. One sweet deal, 70% off restaurant gift cards and gift certificates. Again, not exactly great for a mailing to an affluent uh, homeowner because. You know, what, am I going into a restaurant going, honey, let's go out to a beautiful, spectacular, uh, uh, fine dining place. Oh, and by the way, I got a coupon here. Like, it's not happening a lot. But uh, now, this this is kind of strange. I get up to 70% off, and then I get taken additional 20% off. So do I really get up to 90% off? That's even to the affluent, 90% off. That's where you can talk about the savings. Not 10% off, not a $3 saving. Though. Hey, 70% plus 20%, so 90% off, that's intriguing to me. Again, we didn't get to be affluent because we're not smart with money, right? So 70% off. Oh, and look, at they got to tell you, 
the offer is so good, we are not allowed to publish the names of the restaurants. I love it. What a great thing to say. Just in case you were thinking this offer is too good to be true. No, it's so good that we're even telling you it's so good. It's so good to be true, you don't even believe it. I mean, that's just, this is well done. $25 gift certificates for 10 bucks. Several at this price, 25 for 10. That's, uh, that's uh, 60% sa- that's 60% savings. Nice. $50 for 15. That's 35 out of 50. That's 70% off. Boom. For some great places. No res- some have no restrictions. Some do. Then I like it. I'm gonna, I, I even feel like checking it out. Just because if you're going to a new place, you might as well eat free just to check it out. Arizona, oh, Arizona Rooms by Four Seasons. Their name at the top. Again, doesn't get me to call. But free installation. With no money down, no payments, no interest. Call for your free in-home consultation. Our glass is designed for desert climates. Well, I hope so, dude. You could have said something better than that. It's it's designed for affluent homes. Don't wait. Start taking advantage of new Four Seasons Arizona sunrooms now. Uh, Why choose a Four Seasons Seasons Arizona room? So instead of bullet points, they got paragraphs. I'm not sure. I think I would, and I do help clients take paragraphs and make them into bullet points. So they're quicker to read. You're making me read this whole paragraph. Watch what the whole paragraph is just bullet points. Watch. Add space. Fill your home with natural light. Bring in nature all year long. Uh, The best place for game nights, parties, holidays, get together. See, there's bullet points all strung together in a tough to read uh, inconvenient paragraph instead of convenient bullet points. So uh, fail there. Next, art effects. Why replace when you can reface at this price? Not good for the affluent buyer. I can tell you right now, that's not working to affluent homes. Why replace? I'll tell you why. Because it's a million-dollar home, and I don't just reface things, even if it's a low price. So you're going to tell me I paid eight hundred ninety-five thousand dollars for the home, and now I'm looking to sell it, and I'm not even going to replace the flooring. I'm just going to reface it, like so I can put in the ad. Hey, the flooring was recently refaced because you know we chinsed out on a few bucks. So this is good for a Val pack. I wouldn't do it to the affluent homes. You're going to get some affluent home buyers are going to do this, but uh, old real custom construct. They're using the word custom. They they almost got me back now seeing custom. And the fact that it's done in days is convenient. It's custom cabinetry, choice very important. Historical restoration. Suddenly they're getting me a little back, but refacing instead of replacing. Uh, I don't know, but. All right, the fact they threw in all those luxurious terms there, affluent terms, got me a little intrigued. If if I had a floor that was damaged or something, or I just wanted to upgrade it. Uh, what's this one? Security screen doors and gates built locally in our Phoenix family-owned factory. Okay, and what that means to me is what? I get it quicker, I get it better, more choice, better price, uh, the best guarantee, the best quality. I mean, what does that mean to me? The fact that you have a family-owned factory. I don't really care. Like, unless you can tell me why it matters to me. Best price guaranteed. No one ever regrets buying the best. So that's very smart. Because the best and the best price are different. Affluent people, we insist on buying the best. Best price, that's nice also. But the best is what we must buy because we have the best home, best car, best clothes, best everything. we got to buy the best. Best price, not as important. Certainly, my car didn't come at the best price. Uh, okay, starting at 819 installed. Okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's good or low or whatever. I assume it's low because you're advertising it, but free in home design and sales kind of like that. And Steel Advantage, is that the name of the company? Yeah, it is. Steel Advantage AC. I like it. They didn't even have, oh, they did. Real small here on the front, so I like it. Unlike these people blasting their name real big at the top that no one cares about, they put their name really small. I like it. Believe me, I'll find out what your name is if I want to call you. I'll search for it, and I'll find it. You don't have to put it really big at the top. Security doors, gates, custom-made patio furniture now. So not only do you have gates and doors, you have patio furniture and sunbrella fabrics. And rail, okay, interesting. We repowder coat doors. See, I don't know what powder coating is, but they redo it. Just air. Air conditioning, huge down here. Hugely competitive. And this time of year, there you're about to see, we're about to see on TV, just about every commercial is for air conditioning. Call before it reaches 103 for your $29.99, 95 spring tune-up, regularly 65 So value selling, it's smart. Put the regular price when you give the discount. And call before it reaches 103 which 
Could be tomorrow because it's March in Arizona. But I, I jest. But uh, I like that for a, for a deadline, huh? So instead of saying limited time offer, that's one way to say it. Call before it hits 103 because, by the way, once it hits 103, there's no discounts for nothing. They're all going to be packed. They're all going to have more work than they can handle, charge the highest prices possible. But for now, you're going to get a free dryer vent cleaned, a oh, with whole house air duct cleaner. Call for details. At least they say call for details. And then look at that one. Is that silly? Just Ehrlich. Just Air LLC duct. Just Ehrlich. Just, just Sterlich. Is it J.U. Sterlich? What are you doing? Next. Bring more comfort into view, Pella. Okay, so they're backing up with direct mail. They're backing up all their hefty investment in other forms of advertising. Very smart, and that does look like beautiful windows and doors, which is what Pella is all about. Buy five windows, get the sixth free, ends March 10th. Holy moly. Oh, no, I did get it a few days ago, but that's a one-week deadline. Smart, but rare. The reason I say holy moly is that's so smart, it's rare to see in these mailers. You've seen ones that say the end of April and whatever. This is like, hey, no, we mean it. This is such a great deal. you got one week to call, period. Uh, enjoy life with a new view. Enjoy life is good, and we like to enjoy life if we live in a luxury home. Scottsdale, showroom, and then Tucson. So really, the only one in this whole area, Scottsdale. Tucson's uh, about an hour and a half away. Uh, okay, PellaScottsdale.com with the capitals. Well done. Next, oh, backing up a TV ad. Oops. Backing up a TV ad, so it has a look and feel of the TV ad, of the infomercial, and there's a lady who's on it in TV Express Flooring, and probably same offer and save everything is on the TV ad, so smart. I saw the TV ad, but I forget. I didn't write down the number. It was the middle of the night. I was kind of sleepy, but boom, I got the direct mail piece. Now I'm going to buy, so smart. But then, see, if, uh, if they don't use different phone numbers and they don't know that I called from the direct mail piece, they might think, or they might think the direct mail piece is the, I only got the direct mail piece. So you don't, you have to track properly. It's difficult to track when you're doing multiple forms of or advertising and marketing, right? I saw the TV ad six times, still didn't remember the number, but I thought about it. Then I got the postcard where I can, it doesn't just fly by me in 60 seconds. I can read it as long as I want. The power of direct mail. I can read this over and over. I don't have to pause the DVR or scramble and find a pen when I'm sitting there on my couch with the lights off watching a movie or TV or where, you know, yeah, it's right in front of me and I can call when I want to see everything clearly. Ooh, that looks like a luxury restaurant. Look at that thing. La Toretta Rest Ristorante. It's so fancy. It's in another language. Voted best. We like that. Didn't say cheapest. Doesn't say save five bucks. 20% off after you've already told me it's the best. ArizonaCentral.com's best. Voted the best. Looks fantastic. If you like whatever that is, I don't eat red meat, but if I did, what is that? I don't know. I don't understand this part, but it's uh, it's cause marketing, Ovarian Cancer National Alliance. A little ironic because I think kind of eating like too much red meat and stuff is like uh, can help cause cancer. But anyway, um, feed the cure. So at least they had the word feed in there. Oh, find. No, they don't. They find the cure. How silly me. Find the cure, ovarian cancer. So okay, cause marketing. But ideally, you want to tie a when you find a charity to tie to your business, you want one that you know your ideal target who really resonates with. And luxury fine diners don't necessarily are all about ovarian cancer. Not, it's not such a clear, you know, maybe it would be like feed the hungry. Like, you know, you're eating. Now, why don't you also, the tie every, and they could say, you know, for every meal purchased, we will feed 20 hungry people in, and I, used to say all over the world, but now any democratically liberal-run city pretty much has a hunger and homeless problem. And so you might say, we will feed, we will donate, for every meal you purchase, we'll donate a meal to the Phoenix homeless shelter. Like, how cool with that? Now that we're talking. That could be cool. Uh, Susan G. Komen, okay, there you go. So best Italian restaurant. Oh, and look at that thing. Best Italian restaurant, 2009. 10, 11, 14, 16. The only danger there is I'm starting to think, what happened? Why not 17? So you used to be great, and now what? You know, why are these missing years? But even worse, if you're missing the last one, I wouldn't put that. I would put one, two, three, five-time 
best Reader's Choice Award winner. I would put five time. If I didn't win it last year, I would not broadcast it. Because what you're saying is, hey, not last year. We're not currently the best. We might currently be number 487. Well, you know, those 16 bouts of food poisoning and the 17 rats they found in the kitchen last month, like, caused us the, you know, why are you putting it in there that you lost last year? Uh, but anyway, uh, so then they have, uh, see, expires 531. Three months to use it. Give me a break. Um, 20% off best restaurant. I kind of like the best restaurant. See, I like the best restaurant. i got to try the best restaurant. Uh, fluent. People who are receiving the RSVP mail want to try the best restaurant. Hey, the fact you give me 20% off, that's a bonus. I might not even take it. You think I'm going to bring that thing there? I'm just going to go, honey, we ought to try this place. Then we'll be driving there. I'm like, oh, did you bring that thing from the RSVP, that card? Like, no, I didn't. Or I'm going to say, let's turn around and get it. Like, who cares? Although 20% off, now that I think about it, the bill could be, well, probably doesn't include alcohol, but it could easily be 100 bucks. 20 bucks gets you a free dessert, a free movie for the kids after or something. And it pay the babysitter. Yeah, so that could be good. That's a very luxurious looking thing there. Very cool. $250 off, free in home estimate, Arizona garage and closet design. Oh, look at that. Those are good afters. Again, I, I think a, a before could have been cool. And they do garages and floor coatings and cabinets and. $250 off any service we provide. Minimum purchase, $2,500. Same as the other closet place that said $2,500. Oh, but wait a minute. Now let's see. I, I want a closet thing. Here it is. So here, they, oh, no, no. See, this is a better offer. The one we saw previously, 20% off $2,500 or more. And this is $250 off $2,500 more, which first of all is only 10%. And then if, say, you get something that's $3,000, uh, now you're getting less than that. You're still only getting 250 bucks off. Now you're down to like 8%, and this thing is 20% off. So if I get a three, let's say I get a $4,000 job. At this place, I'm saving 250 bucks, which is about 6% off. And here, I'm getting 20% off. So here I'm saving 250. Here I'm saving 800. So one of them's a loser. This uh, 250, the set amount is the loser. So it's tricky because the set amount is easier for people to understand, believe it or not. And you can look it up on Google.com or something like, you know, a certain percentage of Americans don't understand percentages. How ironic that I said it that way. But a, a large number of Americans don't understand percentages. So in general, you want to spell things out and say $100 off instead of some percentage. But in this case, and especially when it's being marketed to the affluent, you're more likely marketing to the affluent that we understand percentages because we are investing money, we're owning businesses, we have all kinds of investments. Percentages mean a lot to us. People that are broke and eating McDonald's and you know shopping in Valpacs and Walmarts and whatever, percentage is not as meaningful. They probably, they likely, you know, uh, much more likely the affluent don't read as well, don't write as well, don't understand math as well. Uh, Anyway, next. Oh, wait. Did I switch them? I've already done these. Am I done? I already did all these. Sorry, folks. What did I do? I messed myself up here. We already did all these. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. we got three left. Okay. There's the headline again. Do you need, do you have the problem we solve? Because we can solve it. In need of plumbing repair. Fix your pipes from the inside. Interesting. I'm intrigued. Fix the pipes from the inside. No more backed up drains or pinhole leaks. Free estimate. Oh, and there's the before and after. The whole thing is. Here's the before. Here's the after. Here's the before. Here's the after. Here's the before. Here's the after. See how powerful that is? You're showing me what mine likely looks like now. Yuck. And what it could look like if I just pick up the phone and call these guys and pay them some amount of money that I really don't care about that much, a few hundred bucks or whatever. It's a million-dollar home. So I want my pipes to be fixed from the inside so they last longer and they, they don't cost me a big cost later and improves the value of the home and a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so you don't want the high expense, inconvenience, and destruction with a repipe. You want to get them cleaned. Free estimate and camera line inspection. We like that. So we get to see, now of course the sale is made because they're going to show us the disgusting before 
of our pipes and like vote and two hundred fifty dollar value that's that's funny I mean it's smart that you put a value on it but I bet no uh, nobody's ever said hey I just want you to come and show me a film of my pipes I'll pay you two hundred fifty bucks for it I don't want you to clean fix anything like but okay uh, and there you go again on the back before new flow after new flow and we're new flow so their name and their logos at the bottom mistake on the website thing new flow Phoenix it's sort of easy to read but why not make it easier and uh, but they put it at the bottom so you use the top to sell use the bottom for the me me stuff people will find it believe me if they want to call it we saw this one in the Val pack a1 garage we guarantee the best price and value value I would have used price not so sure guarantee the best value affluent buyers want value not necessarily price. By the way, an argument can be made that nobody shops on price. Otherwise, everyone everyone would be walking around with all their clothes from Goodwill, driving a used Kia, and eating uh, uh, ramen noodles for every meal. Right? People do not buy on price. You buy on value. Oh, it's the same offer as the Val Pack. I remember it. $75 off, and there's the $269 installed LiftMaster. It was a LiftMaster. It's the Guardian. This one doesn't say LiftMaster, but I remember it was the LiftMaster. It was two identical offers, two competitors. So, you know, it's a it's a manufacturer's discount. Anyway, okay, next. And uh, this, oh, no, I was going to say it's a mistake, but there's a good choice of the home for the affluent mailing, right? Three-car garage. That's almost standard around here. So, you know, the, the real affluent homes have the four- or six-car garages or even the tall garage with the lift in it. So we were looking at homes the other day, like, oh, yeah, no. I go, wow, six-car garage. They go, actually, it fits eight cars because those two uh, have, you can see it's high. They have a lift in it. You can put eight cars in it because people like to collect their cars and whatever. And the last one, we saw it when it was on the back cover, is the Scottsdale Arts Festival is coming, and affluent homeowners like arts. And so you might want to go to the Arts Festival, which is this weekend. Who knew? And you save $3 off, which doesn't float anyone's boat, and I don't think they really care, but they do – I want to let you know that I didn't know, my beautiful wife Michelle probably knows, that the Scottsdale Arts Festival is this weekend, and they have 170 juried artists from coast to coast, gourmet food trucks, uh, free parking and trolley service, free for children, free for Scottsdale Arts members. Take your RSVP to the festival, present this card on any day, and save $3 off regular admission of 12 bucks. Offer valid for up to two single admissions. Some restrictions apply. Oh my goodness, for three bucks, restrictions apply? Believe me, I'll just go pay the full price. I don't even want to take one second to like answer any questions or anything. But anyway, now I know that it exists. And since it's a Val Pack, you at least did me the honor of giving me an offer. So even though it's a silly offer, like, very nice. You didn't just say, hey, there's an arts festival in the spirit of the whole RSVP. We'll give you 25% off admission. That's 25% off. Very nice. I think, how, how would anyone here that would have improved this? Scott DeSalvo's here and CJ, good seeing him. I'll just tell you in the interest of time, because it'll take forever to have this Facebook messages come through. I would give them something free instead of $3 off. Okay, Phil Brakefield, who was at least on here earlier, if he's not still around, has a company that supplies the lowest price on the largest selection of, uh, of uh, pro uh, promotional products that there are. That's what he calls them, promotional products. All, you know, pens with your name on it and bags and shirts and anything at all with a company name or logo or whatever, don't you think the Scottsdale Arts Festival could have bought 10000 or something from you, uh, Phil, for 250 that has a value, a perceived value of at least 10 12 15 bucks, and given that out free to everybody that brings in this card? You only would need even 100 of them or how many cards are coming in. But, you know, buy a 1000 of some item uh, that I that looks like it's worth 15 bucks, and, you know, even a choice of premium, even better. Choose the opera glasses or the hunting knife. You know, something for him, for her, for whatever. You know, looks like it's a fifteen dollar value. I can get it for two bucks from Phil, and now I, I don't even have to give him three dollars off. They'll value it more, and it costs me less. That sounds like a winner. Anyway, that's it. That's my last tidbit of advice from this month. I think it comes monthly. RSVP mailer. So there it is. We had the. Scottsdale Arts thing on the back. We had the free all the popcorn you can eat at the movie theater on the front. We've gone through the whole deck. The only one that saved out of the deck for now is, of course, 
the fantastic, beautiful rhinos. And that's it for Direct Mail Monday. I didn't see any questions or comments or if anyone's even still awake. We have gone for a long time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a lot out of it. Hope you put this to use in your business, folks. Do the good stuff. Leave out the bad stuff. Get some fantastic results. And then keep me updated. I love to hear success stories from people who follow my advice and put it into action because undoubtedly then you're going to get results if you do it right. And if you need help with it, you go to 25kin25.com. And in one 25-minute phone call, I guarantee to find you at least 25 k for your business. I'll find you $25,000 and usually a lot more in one 25-minute call. Go ahead. Take a chance. It's free. 25 k and 25com That's it for Direct Mail Monday, everybody. Thanks for being here today. I'll be back tomorrow with Topical Tuesday. I'll take something out of the news and teach a business lesson surrounding it, which will help you make more money with less stress and enjoy your life more. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.